ground beef and I want the fat. Wait, so you gotta pay more for less? Wait, you want more? How does yeah, that, that, I don't, that's I don't usually how of, that I don't goes. buy a lot of ground beef, man. Come on. <laughs> and yeah, well, we well, are live. Well, welcome, welcome to Carnivorism 101. <laughs> We're learning about the ins and outs and the intricacies of grinding one's beef. Well, yes. I, ideally, ideally, you want to like go to a butcher shop and get like the the slabs of meat and grind them yourself. That's that's the best option. But it's also the lengthy option. Yeah, that requires a grinder, though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, but like you can you can get a meat grinder for pretty cheap. They're not. I'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you, man. If I had a meat grinder, the same reason I don't have like a cutting laser, I would be looking for shit to grind. Hey, beautiful people, what's going on? We're getting ready for another <laughs> Linux Gamecast Weekly. We just finished the pre pre super shows, and where we covered without spoiling the Boba Fett, not called Boba Fett movie, and Watchmen, which everyone hates, but we all like it for some weird reason. And Rick and Morty. And Rick and Morty, <laughs> which had a very good seat. Yeah. Yes. Oh, man. Sizable show. Not terrible. But we are going to try to melt half your face off. You're going to be like, um, what's his name? Breaking Bad. Gustavo Fring. Yeah, yes. Fring. <laughs> that one moment where the entirety of the TV watching public went, oh, bulls. What? Oh, right. Okay, good. Like, okay, so this is fantasy now. <laughs> no, okay, no, it's, it's it's reality. Okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be gone oh, there okay, for a second. Just, okay, all right. <laughs> but, like, th that, that was, like, one of the best things about, like, Breaking Bad. It was just, like, the camera work there was so stellar. Like, it, it was cinemat So much of it was just, like, cinematography porn. They're just like, look at all these beautifully composed shots. We're just going to sit here for 20 minutes while you watch this shit. It was amazing. <laughs> the, the, the Mandalorian's doing that a little bit, too. They're, like, trying to, they're trying to play with the camera a bit. Especially which I, in I the appreciate. second episode. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of that. Um, I've been doing a lot of research into, like, uh, VFX, compositing, and stuff like that, playing around with the Da Vinci. Mm -hmm. Don't ever get into that, man, because it... You, you keep rewinding, like, okay, how was that done? Mm. And you are distracted from what's being conveyed. But mm. hey, man, uh, Star Wars Christmas is the thing. It's canon. It's canon. Yeah. <laughs> Life day, bitches. That's right. It's a shame that B. Arthur and, uh, um, what's, what's his name? Um, Harvey something or other. Harvey, uh... He, he played he played Hedley Lamar in Blazing Saddles. Harvey Dangerbird? No. <laughs> oh. I'm spacing on his name. Um, Harvey Corman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because he he was also in the Star Wars Holiday Special. He was like the Nixon flip and Nixon flip guy. I've never, outside of like very short clips, exposed myself to. The majesty that is the um, holiday special. Mm. It's, it, it's not. It's not very good, but it's like. Yeah, I, it, I get it's it. One, it's it's one of those things you watch to experience it, and then like it's it's not fun during. It's fun after when you can like make holiday special jokes, and like pe you'll see like one or two people try to be like, okay, you and I have a shared trauma, so we're friends now. The um, I mean, it's been around like in popular culture forever too i remember yeah. seeing it in like there was a bootleg of in white and nerdy mm -hmm. in the music video where he was like oh look he's getting drugs no he's getting a bootleg copy of the uh yeah star Cause, wars because like it aired once the only copies out there are bootlegs and i forget it had legit people in it too right oh yeah like it, like um mark hamill and carrie fisher and harrison ford showed up like right? yeah um it was the first appearance of boba fett um Mm. There was a, there was an animated short in there that featured Boba Fett, and um, weapons are part of my religion. I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean, it's true. <laughs> if, if you if you know shit about the Mandalorians, <laughs> yeah, that that's an accurate statement. Which I do after watching those first two episodes. Um, went to the YouTube's. It's like, tell me more about these critters. Which I you know I knew Boba Fett was, but I didn't know yeah. backstory. And of course, it's Star Wars. It's like. How much time you got? Like, oh yeah, no, we, yeah. We, we got you covered. <laughs> I, I, if you I play uh, Knights of the Old Republic, you actually learn a little bit about the Mandalorian Wars. Actually, actually, um, 
What, what, do you, what do you call it? One of, the, one of the guys you pick up in KOTOR 2 is Mandalore. Well, the current Mandalore yeah. at the time. Um, uh, Kandorus uh, Ordo was... Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, like, the, 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 the coverage of Star Wars lore is such that, like... There's there's that pen shot in, in of the cantina in A New Hope. Mm-hmm. Every character yep. there has backstory. They they they, they, yeah. they 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 have a name and they have an entire shtick behind them. That's all then they've all been accounted for. So There there there's some nerds. That's all I'm saying. I don't know if you can do infinite power like that, but <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Unlimited power! Yes. Speaking of Star Wars. Dude. I, where are we at on our curiosity with the uh, new movie film for theaters coming out? I, I'm like, honestly... I'm, 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 hold, I'm holding my opinion until I actually watch it. Well, okay. I'll go see it. Yeah, what probably. I'm talking about is like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, the first one, when the first one came out, you know, the first of the new ones, was like, uh... I watched it later. The second one, I just by that time I had to go see it in the theater, and that was one of my eleven o'clock on a Tuesday. Go watch it, and it was packed. Like, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, I, I, don't, then, I don't know. Everyone hated on it. Not not everyone hated on it. It's 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 a it's a complicated movie. There there there's a lot of good stuff in it. There's also a lot of really stupid shit in there. So it's a Star Wars film. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And um, but if 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 history has taught us anything, it's always wait for the last one to come out because it throws the previous two in context. Well, eh. because one, one, once once upon a time, people considered Attack of the Clones to be the good Star Wars prequel, and now everyone hates on it. So, online Bioshock. If you do, it, it, wait. Is that old Doom or regular? I think that's. That's 2016 Doom? That's 2016 Doom. Get it. Yeah. It's 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 almost it's almost been uh it's been four years, yeah. If you don't uh, have it, it works great under Proton. Like yeah. stupid. Well, it, it was it was the OG whitelist title. They're like, right? hey man, this works, you can fucking play Doom. And we the did The Legend of Bumbo. Did- don't judge. <laughs> oh, but you, you know you can get clue for. Oh, um, <laughs> you might want to check it out. It was yesterday. Company of Heroes Two, regular, plain, vanilla, not master collection, free. If you don't already have it, that's been free like two or three times. Though, yeah, so. I don't know. That's that's the game that ran better on the Thuban than it did on the i7. So a, you it, know, it, on Linux, it's a great, great piece of software to just make you go what when you run the yeah. benchmark. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what you throw at it. Oh, it's the uh, prequel to Binding of Isaac. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> this is... So, so what? You you stick it in Isaac's mom's bumbo? It's a but... deck building roguelike, which means I'm probably gonna pick it up. Is it on Linux? No, You're probably a not. Bumbo. <laughs> You're a towel. I'll wait for the uh, inevitable uh, humble indie bundle that includes that game and also comes out on Linux. I keep waiting for Bioshock Infinite to run through Proton. Which it doesn't. Yeah, still doesn't. <laughs> Might have tried that yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I tried that when, what was it, 316 came out? Mm. But yeah, actually, still actually, didn't actually, work Actually, I, I wonder... I genuinely wonder how well Halo runs under Proton. I don't know. What do we think of the new Star Wars video game? That's like the first tie-in title back with um, Origin, right? Yeah. In EA. I I don't, I don't I don't know, man. I just uh, I I really don't like the face of the actor they have as the main character. Like I've seen him in other stuff, <laughs> and I just really hate his face. Mm. Well, I saw uh, Linux and he posted like a screenshot. He's like, I'm playing on PS4. And I was like, that's a current game. It didn't look very impressive. Mm. I mean, he's playing it on a PlayStation 4, so.
Apparently, the Master Chief collection does not work on Linux. Ah, uh, give it a week. No. I mean, that, yeah, that, that one also has been the a few uh, months. <laughs> I, I like I like when remakes do that, but the Master Chief collection lets you swap between the old and the new graphics, which is always fun because yeah. you're like, how this look? How this look in like 2000? All right, how's it look now? All right. Uh, we're looking good. Yep. I mean, <laughs> I'm not. I, but I, as good as can be expected. Quality wise. <laughs> Visual fidelity. I'm not. Just cross your eyes a little more. There we go. There we go. That's a plus fat. It's always fat. <laughs> okay. That boy and right. Valve Index VR kit. Still a thousand pounds. All in order. Apparently yeah, I'd like to. Sports. I'd like to order a cheeseburger and some onion rings and a milkshake. No, you can <laughs> just drop it, dude. Following <laughs> order, you have to do it in a Doppler effect as you're ordering. Uh, apparently, it's very much borked right now. Like, I would like to order uh... <laughs> That's the sound people make when they fall. I mean, that's the sound that pe I make when I fall. Yeah. But All I just right. make random fart noises because it's fun. There's that, too. Cool. <laughs> Let's get a show started. Yes. Done and done. Done, da dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. What is up, lads? This is another exciting week. It's a great day to be a Linux gamer sometimes. I don't know. I'm Vin. That's Jordan. Hello. That's Pedro. Together with you, Shout Realm Dynamic, joining us live each and every Saturday night, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Um, yeah. Dance monkey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come no, on, Jordan, I, don't throw the poo. Don't no, throw it. No, no, don't no. do it. <laughs> No you're, 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 I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm pointing out to the stands, Pedro. I'm gonna hit you right in the face. <laughs> Dear me, Pedro. Right, right, and you should put this, Pedro. Um, hey, hey, everyone. How's it going? Um, we're adults, uh, technically. That that's what the police say. Um, <laughs> that's what that judge said, anyways. We are time? legally responsible for our actions. Yes. Technically, we can be held accountable. So you know what you're in for. <laughs> Jordan, you're all healed up, buddy. Yeah, um, after, after after several weeks of, like, various hand injuries that have, like, all scabbed up to the point where, like, I can grip <laughs> things again, and after letting my back heal, uh, I, I, can, I can deadlift again. I'm so happy. It's been, I'm really like... going to ask you, though. Do they make, like, a... I, I, I've i seen people, like, the uh, mouthpiece attachment. To, like... Oh, the, <laughs> the, 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 the bike guard? Yeah, but they have one, like, a string on it. You see where I'm going with this? Um, maybe. maybe? It, it involves a squid. I mean, I'm, now, now I just want some <laughs> Now you lost me. <laughs> Pedro, what's new on the Isles of Britannia? Uh, Are there squids? Well, not so much new, but there is a, a um, 9350 XPS 13 that uh, maybe I can get it to work, maybe I cannot. Either did way, you, I didn't did, pay for it, so. Show up. Do you, do you have, like, um, for unloved lap, do you just have a basket outside? Do they come wrapped up? They're like, oh. I think, I think okay. he dumpster dives. <laughs> Probably. It's like, he's like a freaking for laptops. <laughs> it's like broken laptops. It's like, oh, I have a broken laptop. Do you want it? It's like, uh, what laptop is it? Oh, I don't know. It's a pretty thin one. It's a Dell. Like, I okay. have a broke Like mine. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't work. So, ah. so I, if, I still if, need if to you... make it work. 
If you have a broken laptop, you can email it to Pedro right. Mateus at LinuxGameCast.com. Yes. Email me your laptop. Email the laptop. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you can attach physical objects to Everything emails, is right? Everything at LinuxCon. Uh, <laughs> ZomboCon, man. Don't underestimate it. Dude, I, I've still been, we were talking about the previous super shows. I'm trying to learn how to route things. I'm learning stuff that I don't want to know. My brain is fighting me on this. I'm still trying to figure out how to tag UDP and IPv4. If that bores you to tears, it should. You're normal. And, uh, I built a new kernel, uh, 5.3.11, latest stable, not, nothing crazy, but got that running on Debian, testing it out right now. And uh, learned last night, no matter what I do with this box, doesn't like capturing the latest Tomb Raider. Um, mm. But, I mean, there's a way around it. You know, we have the because you, that's why option of just rerouting it through a capture card. But you, you, you take the Portal 2 methodology. Yeah, man, there's always <laughs> a way to make it see double, kind of like the horse. I mean, that's just because the horse is drunk. It has a problem. We need to stage some kind of intervention. It's the Steam Outletics! Dante Talk And of course, it is very much a weekly update when it comes to the Steam client. Well, you and, see, uh, Pedro, well, you say that, but the reason I put that in the notes was to curse it so we'll not get any updates until after Christmas. I'm like, yes, this is a <laughs> weekly thing we do now. No more updates. Well, uh, <laughs> it is, well, it, it is the roll-up, uh, the usual roll-up that Valve does with all of the beta stuff being rolled into the, um, the main client for everyone who's not brave enough to be using the beta. And if you're on Linux, you should be using the beta anyway. I, I, I mean, unless like the, it breaks. <laughs> the, 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 the people who are on the non beta branch have their eyes now spared from getting molested by the two times UI scaling. Jeez. Oh, it's exciting. <laughs> Jeez. It's scary. Yeah. You start up Steam and then it's just so big. You're like, don't eat me. <laughs> and despite Valve actually going out of their way and pushing out the uh, Steam plate together and the Steam library early to the uh, non-beta users. Well, there were some issues with both of those, and hopefully with this one, uh, they've actually fixed some of them. Uh, on Linux specifically, you have the updated VA API decoding. It now supports VA, uh, libva2. It fixes uh, free disk space checks to that address uh, that addresses some issues with the network bounds, so that's nice. Um, that's the uh, the fix that we were talking about a couple of weeks ago about uh, the input on the F12 binding. So if you have a game that makes use of F12, since that is if the I move over at your house and I hit F12 screenshot. Take a screenshot and I don't get a screenshot, we're not friends anymore. I mean, <laughs> if you hit F12, then it starts the microwave in my place. But you know, okay. And Keep now going. we're not friends with Jordan right. anymore. Uh, okay. Dead <laughs> <laughs> what, what, you were friends with me before? What the fuck is Everything's this? Don't, don't gaslight me. You're never my friends. <laughs> all right. What, what do we have up? Um, yeah, all right. So uh, Steam adds support for uh, namespaces. This is kind of neat. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Um, so this this is uh, from the Steam for Linux. Lin Linux. Linux. Showtime. Linux. Linux. Yes. I, Thanks yeah, for showtime. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the general discussion uh, forum on, on Steam. Yeah, so... You can set um you can set uh, directory isolation using the pressure underscore vessel underscore share underscore home environment variable and that will allow you to define a per game namespace uh, for all your processes under Steam. So I so when 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 I saw that I'm like, huh, this is how Valve is going to be handling Ubuntu dropping all the 32-bit stuff because you can yes. they can just ship their own 32-bit libs, run it in its own process namespace, and it's all nice and isolated. Uh, and I mean, it would, it currently that would, uh, doing something like that would bring games a lot more uh, closer in line to what they do for windows where they ship like the visual C plus plus redistributable, et cetera, et cetera. Just making sure that the libraries that come with the game are the ones that are required to run it, which, uh, like Ven says, will probably kill the fragmentation myth, but that will never die. No, that is a piece of FUD that will exist. <laughs> what? Oh, you like, solved the fragment. Hey, well, well, let me introduce you to my friend here. He's called Middleware. Um, yeah. <laughs> but you're not using... <laughs> Shh, be quiet, Middleware. Yeah. We're using it. Mm. Uh, the, the, the other interesting consequence here is uh, for Proton deployments, because it's all running in its own namespace, uh, you have some tighter control over... Um, what sort of proton stuff you're doing, which will be kind of neat. Um, I'm curious to see. It, it it opens up a lot of possibilities now that the games don't necessarily need to depend on anything from the running system. You can just ship whatever you require with the game and run it. So 
Something you can nice. finally ship your pants. And <laughs> I, I already shipped my pants. You know, and my drawers. It, in a way, you really have to thank Canonical for this because that was the way to take a moment that mm-hmm. Valve had to do. Like, okay, we we need to have our own system in place that's going to be distribution agnostic. This is our solution. Pedro, does this mean every game from now on is going to be a flat pack? And that's the thing. Uh, Valve, you know, the ones that are actually making money out of this Linux thing uh, that aren't Red Hat or Suzy, uh, they went, yeah, there's flat packs and there's snaps, but you know what? Fuck all of y'all. We're going to do our own thing. And they basically re-implemented app images and they did it that way. Well, I, I mean, they're, they're I, still I, I, testing. I mean, it's not I mean, finalized yet. <laughs> container namespace stuff is basically, it's basically Docker. It, yeah. Steam Docker. Yeah. Soccer. <laughs> is, what, what do we say about this, though? Um, are we going to have a Windows-like situation where we're just going to have this stuff replicated 30 times? That's the thing. I mean, we don't I, need to have that because the Steam runtime is already there. All they need to do is expand on it. I, and developers and, using it correctly. I, I, so yeah. F- I, so Flip Fl- Fl- actually raised up raised this point in a blog post though, where it's like you probably you probably should at this point because I there's there's no more there's no more guesswork involved uh, aside from like the GPU driver and like a libc that's all you need just ship all your but yeah th- those should be system anyway so I I always, I always get a little worried when you give somebody the option of like you just dump everything oh, okay done uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah and Valve specifically said it's like okay. Developers, this is good for you. If you do this, it'll reduce your QA load. And if it works here, it'll work everywhere because that's how containers so whatever, go. Whatever, Pedro. I'm sorry. I'm too busy making out it. with my middleware. <laughs> Fuck off. Um, the, 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 there, there's one caveat right now. They're saying they're saying that like uh, Primus and uh, Bumblebee and stuff don't work right off the bat, but they're they're working on it. Makes sense. And now you know, I have since a song you're splitting about a big that. brown beaver yeah. stuck in my head for the rest of the show. Up next, <laughs> automation is now live. Yes, or Volcanoids Automation, and uh, we talked about this game a while back, and we all found the whole moving base uh, idea relatively interesting for a survival-style game. And it is very uh, steampunky, and right now they have a new automation update, which adds some extra hubs and controllers for the uh, base, and it uh, it also adds a hacking tool. For, um, basically, you can go up to, um, enemy base stations and hack a module using boiling water. It's, it's Bioshock I'm only, hacking. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, boiling water can now hack, uh, remote systems. Go figure. But, yeah, it is, uh, it is a survival game, so this won't be everyone's, uh, cup of tea. <laughs> But I'm it is a good looking one, and there is a Linux version, and uh, it's not de- being developed by Face Punch, so that that's a yeah. plus. <laughs> I look at this game, and it's currently 19.99. Uh, if you want to tango with it, and uh, it's like, give me giant Early steampunk access. Max, and let's go to war. St- steampunk Mech Warrior, I'd be I'd be down with it. Every time I see this game title, I keep ex- I keep expecting like. CG anime girls to be singing, mm. and I think I think that's just because the atomic ass has ruined my mind. You know, okay, that wrench helps me out a little bit. It reminds me of the uh, airship game. Oh, uh, Guns of Icarus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little bit of that. A little bit of that vibe. I can't tell. I mean, if if there's like a dumbed down, like just go smash your friends mode, I'm down with that. But if everything's like hyper, um, you know, intricate, complicated. Really wouldn't yeah. be my jam, but hey, man. Yeah, the, this Gun, seems Guns to of emphasize, especially with this update, it seems to emphasize the hypercomplication. <laughs> yeah. It's not the only thing that's got an update. A game that I, like, enjoyed. We, all, we, all, we all enjoyed yeah. it. We all did, much. yeah. <laughs> Supra Land is uh, got a big... Supra? Big honking Supra. update in the... Yeah, Supra Land. No, it's a different game. The chest detector. Finally, it's not as naughty as it sounds, but the performance has been improved drastically, according to the notes. Uh, Jordan, you found one that you enjoyed. Yeah, there, there was the whole... Um, <laughs> was it flies don't eat purple things? I'm like, I, I, don't, I don't believe that. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah but... Well, the um, appar- apparently there were a bunch of hints they included for the final boss as well because it was a little obtuse. Um, mm-hmm. So 
there, there, there's yeah, a... and they introduced a bunch of hints, and they actually went back and changed some of the bosses. The, the only one that I knew about was the giant pumpkin one. It's like, oh, you changed that to make it a bit more consistent with how the final boss actually works. Okay, all right, cool. So it must have been something special, that final boss. <laughs> And again, it has a demo. This was uh, one person put this together, and they did an incredibly well job. Now, as we pointed out during the chair session, it runs like poo, but it's playable yeah. poo. It's very smooth poo. One might I, say. I mean, yeah, I mean no, uh, for 40 uh, frames a second, it was very smooth. <laughs> my, 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 fa- my favorite bit in that game is still when you walk out of that cave and there's like just some dude crucified, and you're like, ha, kid-friendly, <laughs> right? Mm. It. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Something that I might enjoy. I don't know, man. You think it's like a game jam. We're talking it's about rain it's raining and fist. fist. And not, not horses like we were talking about earlier. What is it? You never heard of it. Pick up your guitar and get ready to play and fight this festival because it's raining fist. This is a brawler game, right? Yeah, yes. yeah so, sort of. And the, the, the mechanism here is like you kind of have to uh, play in line with the soundtrack. So oh, there's a, bit of a it's guitar hero saber, element. But with, yeah, with like... Exactly. Guitar I, 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 I don't know. The animation here for like the characters really makes me think that this is a result of like a game jam, which is which is fine. Yeah. I, put, I, put in there. It's not the only game that uh, very much looks like that and outright admits uh, to that this particular evening. But yeah, it, it's the game. Guitar, but yeah. there's some rhythm thing. <laughs> hey man, so, it's yeah. currently five. It's early access. We have multi. We have multiplayer. This. Uh, one to four on the same screen, play with friends or against the computer. This could be a fun little fuck around game. What do we need? Oh, we just need the OS Linux, Linux um, and the Intel and we Pentium. We need a Pentium. Yes. All about the Pentiums. <laughs> All about the Pentiums, baby. I don't know. You know what? I might pick this up just to play around with it because it looks like something that could be frustratingly fun because the idea of having anytime I have like beat matching thing, I, I'm either nailing it or you get off that little bit. Then it's just cock up salad after that. What 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 gets my brain going is like if they if they don't have the actual online multiplayer and they got to use like Steam Remote Play, <laughs> like what does the latency on that mean for playing like a rhythm game? That'll L- that'll fuck you like up. Like I said, we gotta have some fun with it. Baby. Challenge pissing man. Yes. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, Wilder Myth. Uh, it is a grid based uh, tactical RPG mixed with a bit of a roguelike thing, and it make it's another one of these games that makes the promise that it will try to replicate some like. The more organic story oriented tabletop experiences and whenever i hear that mm-hmm. i'm like mm. uh, i don't know the art cell also kind of reminds me a lot that, of like though? early that just like too many people have come out and said that and just failed i mean there was I, an I... entire uh development studio called you may remember them they were called telltale that they promised that the choice in their games no picture that never happened and then it never did i, I, I don't know to me i think the close the game that like closest came closest to it was probably Divinity, which is why I'm really excited for Baldur's Gate. style they got going on. Yeah, it it definitely reminds me of like early 2000s webcomics or like um, (laughs) how it should have ended. That's what the that's what the um, art style really reminds me of. But uh, it plays with a bit of the roguelike elements, which is something I like when games try to experiment with it, where if um, it it uses like a mission structure. So if one of your guys dies, they can come back. Oh, they didn't really die. And you sort of make your own story and blah, blah, blah. It, it it it's grid based, so I'll probably pick it up. It's twenty bucks in early access, so it's a little it's a little steep, but I don't know. It, it could be good. Yeah, it's um it, to your point. Yeah, whenever a developer promises a choice with consequence, I'm always reminded of Telltale. But um, I do wonder just how decisions will affect this because yeah, it's got the whole roguelike thing going on. Their words uh, uh, and. How are you going to make decisions actually matter in that situation? I don't know. I, 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 I think I'll it matters because, like, once the early access it, it, is done. It, it changes how, like, the characters interact with one another. So, like, they're, mm. yeah, the, the the characters are the atomic objects here and the missions and whatnot are sort of fluid. And So, when it comes to, like, way. translating this type of genre to a video game, is, what, what's, is to get it close enough... I, I I think I think it's I think it's a mistake to try to replicate the tabletop experience because mm-hmm. you with the tabletop experience you're kind of if the framework doesn't handle something I can just make something up 
when you're dealing with a computer game, that's not the case. You're sort of constrained yeah. by the limitations there. So I think it's better to lean into it and mm -hmm. sort of just c c construct good situations and have a framework that allows good emergent narrative. Like, uh, Darkest Dungeon does it very, very well, uh, or something like XCOM, where there's the story, and then there's the story that you make for yourself, and that's what you care about. I remember that story of, like, I, there's no way I missed that, the, the infant. Um, yes, yeah, pretty much. So, yeah. Pedro, have you ever had a burning desire to get edgy and um, jump off things? Uh, no, 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 I've never been a very... Um, physically active person in any respect and uh <laughs> i guess the uh, most intensive uh thing i've done uh, over the past several years is play i don't know dark souls but this this is not dark souls this is dark core uh it is a 2d platformer where darkness is your platform and Sometimes. i like yeah, sometimes. Uh, I like what they're doing. Uh, it's uh, you hold down a button or you flip a toggle and the darkness becomes uh, solid. And then you, when you flip the toggle or you release the, darkness the button... darkness is always solid in my heart, Pedro. Okay, so, yes, so, that, uh, cause, so that's how they do You can traverse it, the darkness. <laughs> in, in, in the trailer, it's a little inconsistent as to like when the darkness is in fact the platform versus when it's not. So it's just a button you hold down, I guess. All right, that makes a little more sense. Yeah, it's, it is either a button you hold down or it's a toggle. It reminds me, like some of the jumping situations, it reminded me a lot of the jumping puzzles in Guacamelee. Once you unlock like the uh, reality shift uh thing and you get to change from the world of the dead to the world of the living and you have platforms mm. that exist in one but not the other and you okay. have to do the wall jumps yeah. between the two oh that's what it, it reminded it, me i, of. I remember <laughs> that point where i quit playing the, yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. I, <laughs> the, the, i mean the, this seems a little bit more like meat boy and there's a free demo so if you want to try oh, it out right. and see if you like it first you don't you like this like i'm not gonna say we're seeing a resurgence of it but more not even more the really cool people the really cool kids are like dropping little demos out these days, which was I thought something we just completely lost. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 glad cu I'm curious if the I'm curious <laughs> if like on the back end, like getting a high percentage of refunds, Valve will go to your like, hey buddy, you gotta, <laughs> right. you gotta, you gotta deal with some stuff, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. So may, 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 maybe having a demo so that people will engage less with the <laughs> refund system, which yeah, <laughs> I, I think actually, I think it actually does cost Valve money, so. They're, yeah. they're going to be like, maybe, maybe, maybe let people try before they buy. All right. Coming up next, we talk about how to get shit-faced on the go. And someone's trying to get DirectX on Linux because it is the future. And they're going at it the, like, the complete opposite way around. <laughs> I mean... Well, it, 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 it's good that we have coverage from both ends, right? Like... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's taking like my way of doing it. it's like problem not here anymore, Brad. It's on you. <laughs> well, uh, it, it it's like it's like I say, if you don't want to come to Linux, you're running the risk that Linux will come to you. <laughs> yeah. No, no, Mr. Penguin, go away. No, Mr. Torvalds, don't touch me there. Hey, let's go check out vote.linuxgamecast.com. That's where all the cool kids are at voting on show titles. That place was the hard drive, by the way. <laughs> yeah, cover, covering cover. both ends. <laughs> Squid, Squid base, right. stalker, Limix. Limix. Don't throw the poo, Jordan. I'll give that a boat. <laughs> I'm still gonna throw the poo, <laughs> but <laughs> full of hole. Okay, we're starting from here. No, we're not. Right. <laughs> Did you ever get that thing you ordered on eBay? No. Actually, mm. thanks for reminding me. I forgot. All right. <laughs> did, you, did, did you check inside your boots? <laughs> well, no, I I normally don't have to ask because it shows up as like, you know, paper. It's like, I got a thing. Yeah. Like, that should have showed up by now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it should have. I, I, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it's been dispatched. Uh, apparently, according to eBay, it will be arriving right now to the roof. Monday. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just like your wind glass <laughs> smash and Pedro just gets whacked in the head with a box. 
This one would take a mount, dude. It's like an MDX twenty six hundred rack mount. So you. So I'm 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 keeping my fingers crossed. Is all I'm hearing. I'm just saying seven to very close to eight hobo <laughs> unit on that thing. You could <laughs> wail on someone, put that back is, in the is, rack. Is, and it's is, still is, work. is it solid state or? Uh... Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna and be weighty. It's like late nineties, early odd bearing equipment. So it's just steel, stainless steel. Right, because it, it's me, it's me, it's meant to be like thrown in the back of a in truck, a gig and, case, like, and like yeah, violently shake it around on stage, yeah, <laughs> or like cho or like tossed by unknowing flight attendants into like a plane cargo hold. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I guess the flight attendants don't do that; it's the cargo people. But I like to pretend. When I pulled the uh, MDX uh, 48, 40, 40, 4200 out, I went into. One of the other rooms where I just I just like dropped it on top of the amp. I know it still works. So there's not a doubt in my mind. It, I wasn't trying to <laughs> injure it, but I was like, eh, boom, land. <laughs> It'll, it, it can take it. It's a tough yeah. play. And Pedro can learn the fine arts of compression and limiting. Yeah. <laughs> and his favorite knob, he will be able to gate his breathing. Very much looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he is a mouth breather. <laughs> Mine's I'm really always... not. Well, mm. when you I have just have gate, a really big nose. That's the problem. See, if I breathe in my nose... Uh, I'm fucked because I just bring in so much air when I breathe. I will trip a new escape. <laughs> you did. What? <laughs> What are you trying to communicate? Blink three times, Pedro, if you're not in danger. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> if he's not in danger. Right. <laughs> and I had my hopes up there for a minute. Oh. What is this song? Okay, I thought I heard, like, angry white yell lady yelling, so... Heart? <laughs> no, this is Frontex Ooh. versus Zombies. Um, Who's winning? Freiheld Alschalten. <laughs> what is it? Who do we have? Yes, Alschalten. This is German, Ben. Mm -hmm. I'm a German out. I was looking through, like, Creative Commons shit, and I ran across a couple of their albums. I'm like, all right, right on. All right. Is your man for the itchy? My titties are sore. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why Stop not? lifting with I, your tits. <laughs> I, it's like, I do, mean, that's, 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 that's kind of that's how that's 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 how a bench press works. Is you use your tits? <laughs> yeah, I don't have, I just, I, I've been doing push-ups every morning for way too long. I don't get like my I, I, don't I, get I, sore I, no I, more. I did. I did a, I, I, I took I took a week off uh, bench pressing, mm -hmm. uh, just for a deload, and now I'm back on it. And my my boobies hurt. Mm. I, like uh, like my pec uh, major. Totally, there's ain't nothing sadder than a Canadian with sore boobies. It's true. <laughs> I, I decided I wanted to trade a little bit of ass power for some titty power, and now mm. I'm paying the price. I mean, I did, I did, uh, I did a five seventy five deadlift for a double, which is better than I've done previously. So that's pretty good. Getting creep, creep, creeping, creeping up to that seven hundred pound deadlift. It it doesn't matter because the contest is going to be max reps with Pedro, regardless between us. <laughs> okay, all right. I th I th I, th I think I think that's not a problem. I, I'm just saying you're gonna have to work on the the long game, baby. Oh yeah, no, I, I do I do uh, I do hypertrophy block. That's a lot of that's a lot of um. Paid. We 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 might do breakdowns though. I mean, we could do like a double stack of like Pedro and Strider, then we can pull one off. And... No, uh, we 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 gotta start doing like power cleans with Pedro and Strider. <laughs> Slam him on the I ground. Mean, I afterwards. only weigh what two hundred pounds. Yeah, 14 and a half I, yeah. stone, 90 kilos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can clean you. I can straight up. I can straight I can straight up press you. So Oh yes. I was gonna say I could jerk you, but that's uh that's for another podcast. <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> Thank bits. you, Basil. Thank you very much for the bits. <laughs> Pedro's the best bit, bitch. What are you drinking? Um, King Goblin. All right. Six point six percent. It's a little funky. <laughs> yeah. Pedro's like, I don't know. It's at six point six on its own body. It's got more than five percent. I'm good. <laughs> You're, you're, you're on track to getting just completely shit-faced by the chair position. No, he's doing good tonight. He's I, I can always... I, man, I, I know what I'm in for about halfway through the pre-show. All right. <laughs> I, I do. I've been doing this for a minute. <laughs> Don, thank you very much for the five bits. <laughs> Thanks, Don. So cute. Uh -huh. I'd show oh. you my tits, but they're very sore. Oh, that's what we need, Jordan. We need to get you like a cheerleader wig and some pom poms. So, like, when somebody donates some bits, you can go choke yourself out. <laughs> I don't need a cheer. I don't need pom poms for that, Ven. I got a belt. <laughs> right. <laughs> None of that amateur junk in my house. Well, speaking of belt, oh. I uh, need to pee. I'll be right back. Speaking of oh, belt. dude. So, so I've, 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 been, I've been trying to get my front squat up. Um,. And for that, you need to, like, for, like, good bar position, you need to have it, like, right on your clavicle so it, like, fucking starts choking you up the second you unrack. And after doing this for a couple weeks, I don't understand what David Carradine was so excited about. I, I genuinely don't. What I genuinely don't understand, that's, like, one of those things that has to be just something that crosswire somewhere. To, yeah, right? Like, that's not something you're like, how do you get into that? Yeah. Yeah, it has to appeal to you beforehand. It's not something that's like, okay, well, let's get this like broken yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let's experiment a little. It's like, no, no, I want, I want to, mm. I want tunnel vision. Yeah, lack of oxygen sucks. No, la lack of blood flow to the brain. That's fun. That's man. I've been in enough show colds to. Uh, I know those feels. Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh. Like, if it's just a submission like that, that but if somebody's, like, fucking tw twerking, tweaking on your fucking neck, that's a whole different story, because then your neck's mm -hmm. all jacked up for a week. Jiu-Jitsu. Everyone, mm -hmm. go roll. At least once. It's fun. Oh, yeah. I used to do uh, Jiu-Jitsu as a kid. No gi. Oh, uh, we, did, we, did, we did gi. Which is worse, because there's... Like, uh, what, what do you call it? It is easier to execute a lot of chokes with a gi. It is real easy to, for me to get somebody on the mat with just, like, leverage and weight. Mm -hmm. I pendle him your ass. Boom. There you go. So, yeah, that's like cheating. But it's always cool, man, because you can take somebody like Pedro size and they will straight murk you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Pedro can't though. He's 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 a bitch. I don't know. I, that we we need to have like a Rocky montage where we get Pedro in shape to fight Atomic. Okay. So so what? So what? I'll I'll, I'll train yeah. Pedro. You train Atomic. Or, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to corner. And, yeah. 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 <laughs> the 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 bet's actually between us. We'll oh, hundred percent. But we lie to them and we tell them. But we're yeah. Going. But like. Yeah. But I mean, that, that's the thing though. Whoever loses, we both win, right? That's right. Well, all we got to do is like. Like a thousand dollar purse. Uh, yeah, like whoever wins, they'll get them motivated. A keto, hap keto, is that like uh, regular keto with like nitrous? It's a uh, Korean martial art. Hmm. <clears throat> so, pa Pedro, do, 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 you, do, you, do you think you could take the atomic ass in a straight up fist fight? No, no, boxing, legit. Boxing, American boxing, American style Ki boxing. Ah, uh, I was gonna say kickboxing. No, All right. I don't know. It's been many, many years since I fought anyone. We're, so we're, probably we're talking not. <laughs> heavy gloves too, big mitts. Yeah, <laughs> like they will look comic on you. It'll be awesome. <laughs> but they're gonna look whoa, whoa. equally as comical on atomic. On the atomical <laughs> ass. I have no illusions. This is strictly for our amusement. I, again, it's been many, many years since I've fought anyone, so I'll probably lose. <laughs> I don't I don't know. It's the atomic ass, though. Okay. What if each one of them has to wear an eye patch, so no depth perception? Mm. 
<laughs> oh, right, we could do the thing. already with... fucked up. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you know, you know what else? We could we could do the thing where you like we handcuff their arms together so that like they're stuck. Mm. What about like a ball chain weight on each leg? So, so one on, on, on oh, each okay. leg. So... Hang on, hang on. No, the person with the ball chain on the ankle, but they get a stick. Hmm. <laughs> See, we should be gets... game developers, at least designers. <laughs> I, th I think most extreme elimination <laughs> challenge needs to hire us. Right. I'm just, I don't know how much elevation we're going to be able to get on the horses, though. No, we, no they, they gotta do it while they're doing the splits between uh, two trucks, right? Right. JCVD. All right. Uh, let me do a little bite break, and we will get into the set news. Yes. Yeah. And I don't know karate. Yeah, I, I think like every kid at some point. I did taekwondo for a bit, and I did kickboxing, did savat. Savat too. Yeah. <laughs> Le kickboxing. Was, 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 it, was it taught by an authentic Frenchman? No. <laughs> ah, that's not real savat. Were you, were you taught Savat by Sagat from Street Fighter? Yeah, he drug us out to the docks, <laughs> man. Um, <laughs> I did capoeira. Does, does that count? <laughs> I don't, that sounds I don't delicious. Know. Can, what is it? Can, can you still break dance fight, Pedro? <laughs> Do a spin. <laughs> okay. I don't uh, have enough room around me to... Break dance fight? Play Yakuza Zero because that's a skill I picked up by watching somebody breakdancing. It's like, oh, you've acquired a new skill. <laughs> like, oh, you know, I'm already at the point in the game where I've quit playing because I have to do property management on both sides. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nope, I'm done. Uh, no, the, oh, this is a gallery. What? Um, and then, <laughs> what is wrong with your? He's got. There we go. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> accurate. There. Accurate. This is, th that was supposed to be a side-by-side -side thing. I didn't realize that okay. there were two images yeah. until it was too late. That's legit. <laughs> comic proportions, man. <laughs> Nine, 90s comic proportions. The, there's one guy who popularized that style. He's named Rob Liefeld. He's the guy who invented Deadpool, actually. <laughs> Oh, I saw one, uh, it was, uh, Thanos, uh, pulling the helmet off of Iron Man. This is like, I'm getting tired of you people! And he pulls off the helmet, and it's like, Robert Downey Jr. in, uh, blackface, like, what do you mean, you people? <laughs> I prefer the, the Nigel Thornberry, where he's just, like, smashing. <laughs> There's this guy, uh, he's got an Asus AAA PC on eBay, uh, it's like one of the really old uh, netbooks, and he's been adamant that he wants 60 pounds for it. And every single time he's relisted that thing, because he still hasn't sold it, I've got, I'll give you 30. I'll give you 30. <laughs> I'll give you 30. <laughs> This is like the fourth time, and it's like, okay, I'll give you 30. <laughs> An EPC. <clears throat> An EPC. <laughs> It's a dual core, uh, it's actually a 64-bit atom, so yes, it would be worth 30. <laughs> and, oh, did you see, I think it, is it MSI that's releasing a AMD-powered nuke? 
I thought a couple of guys were doing that. We, we were talking about it. Was it MSI yeah. or was it uh, Gigabyte? Z Zotac? Uh, this was like on Tom's Zot hardware I saw like the day before yesterday. And I was like, oh, that looks mm. it. Starting at 700. Nope. <laughs> 700. Yeah, that that's... Maybe 400's where I draw the line. I would like a nice, like, low-end i7 quad-core nook for, like, a Jitsi box just so I could be, like, tape it under something. <laughs> but, oh, dude, it was, they're, like, four or five It's a company bucks. literally called Simply Nook. Okay. Nook, nook. <laughs> it's the Sequoia 6. Uh. <laughs> AS Rock. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I always get we were all Rock wrong. and Aces confused. <laughs> no. I don't think I've ever had anything from Ass Rock. That mini ITX motherboard uh, and the last Intel motherboard that I had, which was during the Conroe series, the Core 2 Duos. Mm. <laughs> Alright, uh, we should be good. Alright. 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 I'm James, bitch. <laughs> I'm James, bitch. What? <laughs> Hi, I'm James. Welcome to Lemon's Podcast Weekly. What the? You dumb Mr. 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 James, bitch. It's on his driver's <laughs> license. I need that fake ID for reasons. <laughs> You're gonna self-deport. I don't even have to do anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he's just, he's just gonna get thrown himself thrown in like a supermax. It's gonna be hilarious. I will legitimately come visit you. <laughs> Look, all I know is that they got yet another Brexit extension. It's a joke at this point. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I work on, I'm a, like my father and my father before him. In three, <laughs> two. Well, I really do hope your ancestors didn't start watching this show and this became like a family tradition, because if it did, I'm sorry. But then again, the news are coming up, so stick around. How, uh, dude, how, is, how is the atomic wasteland anyways? It, it's kind of fun, man. But, you know, you got to go back and be like, hey, man, uh, what what led to the, you know, that mass thing? And, oh, daddy's locked up now. But we're not to blame. <laughs> Listen, daddy was jacked up before he started watching the show. Listen, I, I'm, I'm of the opinion that if at any point LGC has become like a gather around the TV family tradition thing, the apocalypse has happened and we're living in like some nuclear hellscape. That or like, you lost a bet, and this is all up like massive practical. <laughs> that joke, or it's right? somewhere in California, and a yeah, French no, person no. lives there. You, you, <laughs> you, you may or may not be Jim Carrey, but spe spe <laughs> speaking of James, he's one of the people we got to thank for helping support Thank this, you, James. Uh, New this, the, the show. He, he's he's one of several people who uh, went to linuxgamecast.com, moved their mouse over that support tab, no. and saw that you could support us with stuff like Patreon or LibrePay or buying some shirts. Or PayPal, or hitting up our wish list, or sending us some Dogecoin. Um, I, yeah, I got, I got a to... creep on your list. Uh, did I see something in there? I always look for something that will force you to buy something else. Mm. I didn't see anything good. You got a bunch of Switch games. I saw that though. Yeah. <laughs> no, nope, that's. I mean, if you stuff. buy Jordan the thirty nine hundred X, he'll have to buy the motherboard to go with it. <laughs> I was more shocked yeah. at the price of Canadian RAM. Look at that nonsense. Two hundred. This. Oh, yeah. welcome, welcome, <laughs> welcome to my life. Welcome to my life. Dude. But yeah, uh, you, I mean, if if you buy myself or Ven or Pedro some stuff, you can uh, from the wish list. You can end up on Frank's fuckwall. He's he's over there. He's there's he's one slot be. left. One no, no one's come tiny, to claim it. Tiny kid would fill it before right. Christmas. That's great advertisement, man. If you got ah, a yeah. website or something like that, you get something for the studio. It stays there forever. It's going to be. He flies through the credits at the end of the show. It's it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. But the best way to support us is head on over to patreoncom gamecast You get so much cool stuff from becoming a Patreon, like access to our Discord channel, so you can hang out with us the rest of the week. You get access to the show notes. So you can 
see and comment on stuff that's going on before we come here and record this. Watch the sausage um, being made. Tell us we're wrong. Indeed. Before, before we even go online. <laughs> uh, sometimes I do some game streams. Sometimes Ven does some game streams. If you're a Patreon, you get priority if you want to play with us. That's pretty cool. And if you want to dump a, dun a ton of money on us, you can become a guest on the show. We have the capacity for that now. We do. Thanks to you, your support, we can add a fourth person. We've come a long way from um, the little dinky mixer going, hey, can you guys hear each other? Yeah. <laughs> True story. Magic Red Dink Noms, baby. Hashtag dinky mixer. Thanks for making it all possible. You are the real MVPs, and we do mean that. Um, we want to keep on rocking on and doing more. That's uh, we got the capacity. No one being teased with AT and T. I honestly, practical joke. I'm sure it is, but man, the, the shenanigans we will soon be able to get away with if that is the case. They're, they're so. just gonna roll out like a string with a tin can on the bridge. Like, there's your gigabit, Ven. Oh no, no, they're like, yeah, yeah we've upgraded <laughs> dial up here. Here's this Verge J12 Dialifier. Oh man, looking forward to that. That's kind of brilliant. Okay, uh, let's get into it. And wine on yep. the go. Yeah. So, uh, Cron Fork. Uh, I, I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. Uh, they have a, okay. they have a GitHub repo, and inside is an interesting little project. It's called Wine Portable Executable. Now you might have heard of portable ex executables from like the Windows side, where you just stick them on a flash drive, and then you just run it off there. Uh, but here, what it does is it will uh, pack all the wine dependencies. Well, most of the wine dependencies. You still need a couple that are listed out uh, in the page. Links to that in the show notes. But it makes a little squash fest thing. Um, you put your wine, you put your EXEs in there, and then all of a sudden you can, you know, double click on it or run it from the command line and it will just start wine. So it's basically wine hub minus flat pack. It's a little more flexible because it gives you some options for using your system libraries or bundling everything um, aside from what are, what, what were the libraries? They were, they were kind of weird. It was um, libc, libasan, libgl, libnutls, and libvulkan. If you're Am using, I the only uh, one like to get a page and I'm seeing like any dependencies, like my brain genuinely is just like, looking for npm and if i see npm i'm like peace i'm out <laughs> I, I mean that that's that's a reasonable reaction to most things involving npm but yeah um so short short of like a c library and some you know graphics drivers and an encryption library you don't need anything other than what gets shipped in the flap in the um portable executable so it's it's pretty nice um so especially especially if you have like stuff like utorrent or like Fairly small apps that just need wine to get up and running that this is where i'm going on my questioning i mean how do we turn this into something handy and dandy to ship the games with? Is this is a possibility? I, I, I mean, so, something something like that already exists with uh, WineHub, yeah. Yeah, WineHub does it. Uh, Valve is doing it with their own uh, namespaces nowadays. Uh, but yeah, no, this seems to be more of like the single executable, like Jordan mentioned, like some some like an, specific like an app application. application that's available for windows and only windows and you can't get it to run on linux at all without the use of wine so yeah uh, though there are a bunch of those applications that are just a single executable but they still require like .NET version 4.12 to be installed that, you're just saying so, it's a windows program with a bunch of extra words um yes i mean, uh, I mean that's, so, what, that's what wine is so right. Yeah, so having wine or this wine uh, portable thing be able to, like, okay, so it has the base wine stuff. Can we also have, like, wine plus .NET and wine plus Visual C? That way we can ship yeah. or have those teeny tiny ones plugged into it. it that, if you, if nice. you, maybe you just couldn't let go of portable apps and you, you want to bring your Windows apps and make them all nice and pretty. <laughs> I, I mean, all, 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 all this really is is just tooling for people to be like, I can't run Thing X on Linux. Well, fuck you. Now you can. So it's, are, are you well, saying there if is we that get it one... drilled down to like something they can double click on, the Windows desktop experts will be able to use Linux? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Why, do, why do you think they're bringing Windows help? Defender yes. over? <laughs> fair, fair point. I wouldn't mind having, say, uh, the Ryzen calculator that someone created for Windows to calculate like memory timings and everything if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU. So yeah, that's no, don't, like don't, an example. Don't, man, you're just making stuff up. What you want is that thing Scott had that monstrosity Tonka toy Lego looking thing to show a CPU tip with all the flashy whiz being. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I really care, don't really care about that, but the like the VRAM timing calculator, I, I I like that. I'd like that to work on Linux, please. <laughs> None of the, 
All of this is for naught because uh, Google Stadia is coming the out. The cloud with is the future. That lineup of twelve. We gotta, we gotta Google you vape, dude. You know, <laughs> check it out. Uh, we, we're not like huge on this, but uh, they're running Linux on the back end, which doesn't mean in any way, shape, form, or capacity that we're going to get more Linux ports because they're using Vulkan on Stadia. But they did announce, hey man, this is what's coming on launch. <clears throat> And it's not much. I mean, we have no. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which I played in the Vita. That was all we had. Mortal Kombat, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, Samurai Showdown, because that's the thing, Thumper. And some Tomb Raiders, to which, oh, and Met, I guess, oh, later on, we're getting Metro Exodus. But a lot of stuff doesn't, it's not going to work until later on, like the where you mm -hmm. can pick up and share with your friends with the safe states for the games and stuff like and this all boils down to whether or not you can run the damn thing in the first place right well if you have the if you have the internet connection anyways right. i mean you i need, like, i i like internet to run it yeah. properly i just look at this and think like look at all these linux clients we'll never guess minus <laughs> minus the tom braiders mind, mind you though i am genuinely curious if feral actually worked on any of these for uh, stadia because that might that I, I honestly have thought to myself and like the smart money is like you know feral going yo we got some experience hey, with this right <laughs> yeah we, we 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 got we got this indirect x thing that we've been refining for a while now that or getting the vulcan translated over or at least to be on google's shortlist when they go to a company and they're like yo we'd like to do the stadia thing these guys can help you out with that transition because you know feral has got to do their thing that's kind of brilliant. And but go ahead. No, so besides being a thoroughly meh lineup, uh, there's also a couple of uh, hypocrisies revealed uh, with this list, like Thumper, for one. Uh, it, I believe, is a Unity game. Uh, it's a rhythm game where you just have to turn uh, along with the rhythm of the song that's happening. I honestly happening. figured it was going to be like rabbit pornography, but go ahead. It, no, it isn't, if only. But yeah, the... <laughs> Developers specifically said that they would not do a Linux version, and here we are. But yeah, uh, the but, idea but, of but like Pedro, enabling we Linux users don't have Google money. Many things uh -huh. are possible with fat stacks of cash. <laughs> this is a big investment for any company to go because there's the Google factor of there's a ninety percent chance it's just going to get shot in the kneecaps while set on fire while dropping a horse on it. But that's the thing. So, if Linux is such a bad proposition, why the hell money. would you invest money Did you not hear on Google? Money. <laughs> do I, do... Bring up the penguin. I, penguin. I'm looking, give me a minute. I, I, I don't know if I can. Hang on. There. This is Google. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's Google. And they're like, oh, no. I don't want to make a Linux game. And then... That's his Frank. That's not... <laughs> no, that's Frank. Rawr, and, then, and, then, and then Frank comes in and starts like bitch slapping them. They're like, you're going to make a Linux game. Rawr. We're not going to make Frank and the Penguin kiss. Uh, we're too but yeah, no. Uh, I'm, One I'm, of the things I'm, that Stadia. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Jordan. Uh, but yeah, one of the things that uh, Stadia could do, and it seems that already someone's picked up on that, uh, the, uh, Codemasters, they're doing like the 40 player race in grid but that's not going to be available uh right out of the gate and there's yeah, a lot of enabling... stuff that's not going to be available right out of the gate including the ability stuff. not to buy the what 120 dollar version and still pay 10 dollars a month for the and then you don't you genuinely don't own any that's where i'm like i don't even know if i want to try it because when it gets killed by Google, not if. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a win. <laughs> what happens to those games that you, uh, they're not going to be transferable at all. They're, they're not going to keep the infrastructure. Like, you're not even what are they going to, to do? Give you a Steam areas. keys for the game? No, fuck no. They're like, yeah, no, I'm, yeah. fire. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of curious though. Like, what's because uh, if they if they do that, people are going to get pissed, and there's going to be a class action lawsuit. So I'm curious what that will actually result in that will that will, that will be interesting that might have some consequences for Google games that will whole, probably right, drive right? another nail through yep. like cloud gaming for another 10 years or so cloud gaming <laughs> is something that's always going to be 10 years away into back to jordan's question google money pocket change they'll make that class action lawsuit go away like glitter baby <laughs> yeah we'll just pay it goodbye now the <laughs> thing you do have to think about is if i make 
development house, you know, if I'm Bethesda or, you know, EA or somebody like that, you know, you're doing this with like that 90% chance of like, A, we're not even going to see adoption. B, even if it does get adoption and people really, that just means Google's going to kill it quicker. Yeah. Rip yeah. Google Plus. All right. All right. Google <laughs> Plus. Uh, Linux and Mac updates. Hmm. Kickstarter. What's oh, this it's not coming. <laughs> wah, wah. It's good news, right? Right? Oh, oh we're teasing. Right? Hi, everyone. Compulsion here. Hi, Compulsion. I know you. Uh, oh, different Compulsion. <laughs> about our Linux and Mac backers. See if you can guess what I'm talking about. After spending a year of development on the Linux and Mac versions, we still haven't reached a quality level that we're comfortable with. We no longer plan to release or sell these versions. You know the song, the story, and this dance in 2015. Here we go. We happy few. That game that apparently I didn't. I didn't. I thought it was out. Uh, so what does it mean if you're a backer? Check it out. They've actually done the best that they could with this. Um, if you're going to bow out, this is the way to do it. So they have a beta version, and they're like, yo, this is what we got. You can have it along with a refund, and you get to keep your Steam key. So, eh, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, you, you, get, you, get a, you get a busted build and a refund. So that's like, that's not the worst outcome, right? It, it, no, it, it's no, a it better isn't. love story than like stainless. <laughs> like, we never said, no, Linux, Linux support wasn't our first stretch goal, and our kicks, nope, didn't happen. I, I, I would say it's a better story than Rust, because, you know, at least like, hey, they're giving you something. <laughs> At least you don't have the developers going on Twitter and shitting all over Linux like it's Linux's fault. That well, they, well, and that and, 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 and to that to, to that point, they're saying like, yeah, we this is outside of our skill set. We can't do it. Sorry, guys. You know, I started to give them the static. I wrote the notes. And I'm like, okay, hit me with this logic bomb of why did you burn money for a year trying to figure this out versus like. You know, getting an Iculus or getting a flippity jib and be like, yo, here's six months. Go make a thing, come back with a finished product, because guess what? That's what you do. You're good at it. Then I get to the part of like, oh, it's Unreal Engine 4. Hmm. Well, I don't know if that's possible then. Um <laughs> Yeah, there, there, there's a, there's also the whole like sunk cost exists 100 in development, especially for small teams. They're like, no, if we just spend a little more time, we can get it. If we spend a little more time, we can get it. And all those little bits of more time end up to another year, and that's that budget is just gone now. Is the game out? Is it an early access? Still, I know. It, I think I think it's an early access. It's been yeah, been around forever. I mean, what like four years? Because I remember the hype about it. Then oh no, it's 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 out. It's um, on. Yes. Whoosh, yeah, they got whoosh, a publisher. Seventy-five and... bucks Canadian. Holy shit! What? Is it on? Steam? Yeah, they got a it? publisher, and it on, went on, from on. being like an indie developed game into this massive thing that they screwed up on launch. That that like well, it was when they actually launched it was mess. I yeah. remember all the reviewers <laughs> are like, "See, this is why it's like, why is it still in our? Let's see, how about the damage and freedom." Don't. Whoa! Yeah, it's still, it's, yeah sixty bucks. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Get right. no. <laughs> Uh, that, that, yeah, that's no. first party at Switch prices. Point, yeah, at this point, I think the three, possibly four wait, people wait, 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 wait. Scroll, scroll, it, scroll, scroll up for a second. I think I think we buried the lead here. A little bit more. Triple core Intel? What? <laughs> or AMD. <laughs> you, can, you can have the tri-core. <laughs> well, you, there were triple core AMDs. But right, 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 right. But, it, but if it said triple core AMD, I'd be cool with that. But this is triple core Intel, man. <laughs> maybe, maybe you just got an Intel chip that's a little fucked up. Man, it's not enough. Oh, you got a like a dual socket system. It's a single core and a dual no, core. No, it's a bootleg no, no, quad you, core. You, 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 you bought you bought an i5, but it was a really bad i5. Yeah, on listen, the course. Man, this is like an Busted. i3 and three quarters. All right, don't judge. I three and but a yeah, half. no. Yeah. The few, very few people who actually back this game and in 2019 still care about the Linux or Mac versions. I'm sure they will appreciate the gesture. But everyone else is basically already fucked off, or they don't really care. Mm -hmm. uh, so good on, good on them for giving refunds. Uh, uh, yeah. That and the honesty of actually coming out and saying, "Hey, 
we tried, we couldn't do it, we're sorry. That mm. goes a long yeah, way around but, these parts. But you know, you know what? Maybe, maybe they should have waited a little bit because oh, no. lo and be lo and behold, someone might have had a solution if Magical they had just waited frog a year. Sprinkles. <laughs> oh, I mean that that's Don't one even thing. Don't that's, 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 that's one way of calling it. Yeah. So this is from NPC Josh. You might know him from D Nine VK. He's the guy who makes. D nine VK, um, yep. and he has he has he has a little interesting proposition, a modest proposal, if you will, that would, doesn't involve eating poor babies. Uh, he says, <laughs> you know what? It what if what if what if you could get DXVK running DirectX eleven and twelve and nine natively under Linux, and so um, he has gone about doing so, and he's actually gotten a quite a, an amount of success. Um, it works mm -hmm. with SDL now, so if you uh, link your SDL against this thing. You can like straight up have working uh, DirectX 11 code on under Linux. It just runs natively, well, ru natively through DXVK. Yeah, but I mean, natively magic. through a translation layer. Yes, burn <laughs> him. Like, He's a froggy but, witch. <laughs> but like it, he did it right. Like it's it's implemented. Uh, they they yeah. support the latest version of DX11. So now they're like, well, I mean, we we can leverage this. If you want to, if you don't want to do Vulkan, if you're more comfortable with DirectX11, and you want to develop your game for Linux, we got you, bro. It, it works. It's open source in DirectX, and uh, kind of insane that someone uh, actually managed to get this done. But at the same time, I'm relieved that they tried yeah. and they succeeded. No, no, so, no. I, I yeah. genuinely feel like Mojo Jojo. <laughs> like that's so evil. I love it. You know. It's... Yeah. Yeah. But but I mean you're, you're still gonna have to update your engine code, so p you're still gonna have to deal with the case insensitive file system. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, um, consistency. Go figure. Hey man, but, ext but, but, four is but, going to fix that for you. It's tr unfortunately. Um, but I mean, there 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 you go. Like a major hurdle for getting your game under Linux has been removed. Now you can just write your DirectX code and it will run under Linux. This is quite it's quite astounding. If you remember. Remember, if you don't come to Linux, you're you're asking for Linux to come to you. It's a Borg baby. I mean, yep. there's no escape. You can keep running. Um, I do think about that though. It it is going to be the universal operating system of a yeah done. Lin Linux is great and, and at running at programs point, that aren't it's made to run there. on Linux. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> so and yes, what's that? Oh, I hear the screen. Oh, that's Mac users. I'm sorry. <laughs> you had your well, chance. You well, had your so, chance. So, so Molten you, VK could, in theory, do it. So the, yeah, that, that gets a little fucky because you're going from DirectX to Vulcan to Metal. Yep. But it, it, th theoretically, it should work. Yeah. I mean, Vulcan and Metal are both based on um, Mantle. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's like so much nightmare fuel. No. I, no. Yeah. Uh, what, what's it, what's interesting, too, is if you actually go through the Git link there, uh, Doxygen, the uh, guy who's the principal Metal is not DX. based on Mantle. Oh, do you know that for a fact, Scott? Can you show me the source code, please? He probably can. <laughs> He's a spy. Whoa, whoa. Let's listen. We'll, we'll, we'll have the televi televised uh, Pedro versus Scott Michaud slap fight later. Yes. That, 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 that's for the $10 Patreon. If you, if you want to see that, you got to give us 10 bucks. <laughs> um, but, but yeah, it, um, it, it should work. Coming up next, Mars Power. It's the industry whose name you'd love to touch, but you mustn't touch. His hey. name sounds good in your ear, but if you say it, you Whatever. mustn't fear because his name can be said. That's my total anyone. recall cover ban. I didn't know movies could have cover bands, but okay. I was going with like I was going with like Max Power from The Simpsons. Max Power, he's the man. Who's okay? Name? What do I have to Google? Judge. Metal is not. Metal is not be... mental. Okay, do, are we arguing semantics? Because uh, I mean, it would be very hard for Apple to re-implement Mental on Swift, their own programming language. Yeah, that would be so hard. So here we go from ScienceNews.org. <laughs> Mega diamonds point to metal in the mantle. <laughs> I think they're talking about the Earth's mantle, but no, 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 no. <laughs> no you, you see, uh, mantle was based more on Direct X, which was based on actual geocrystalline structures. Right, yes. they found at the center of the earth. Yeah. Which was that, so what you're saying is Microsoft is actually run by lizard people? Purple. I mean, 
I'm pretty sure metal is as based on uh, mental as DirectX 12 or I mean, Vulcan. Y- you're sitting in front of the magic internet answer box, but go ahead, keep on assuming. <laughs> I, I, listen, keep I'm, I'm just going to say, people we, we, at home. We, 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 we need, we need, we need ten bucks. We need ten dollar Patreon so we can afford the plane ticket to either bring Pedro to I'm Canada not or any bring Scott to on a ten dollar plane ticket, dude. You can uh, all you. Well, baby. You're, you're you're not. It's going to be Pedro or Scott. Like what part? A pinky toe? Sure. It's going to be future. Easy. I don't care. Bring back dirigibles. <laughs> Oh man, I, I, I love that Archer episode. It's like, no, the balloon won't explode because it's full of helium. Helium. They use helium and curium, and if that doesn't work, they use barium. <sighs> You're not helping me, Googs. <laughs> All right, you, you, you kids have fun. I'm going to get a drink. Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh. Also, metal runs on G4 graphics cards that don't run life. Vulcan. Um, uh, and Vulcan again. <laughs> This is Apple we're talking about. Apple decide what runs what. It's their entire ecosystem. <laughs> it was developed by Apple, which is debuted in iOS 8. Metal combines function similar to OpenGL and OpenCL under one API. OpenGL. Just like Vulcan, go on. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're trying to argue semantics at this point. I, I got a feeling scooch. I'm not right. arguing anything. Yeah, That's the thing. I said that you're right. much you're, like you're Vulcan not and DX12. You're shit. Uh, metal is a uh, program. And yet you're the one still reading. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get facts straight, motherfucker. That's how I roll. Just Call fuck me already. Crazy. Jesus. <laughs> I'm still reading it. Ooh, deep cuts. Yep, yep. After reading. Ooh, what? There's a name we haven't heard in a while. Civ 6, yeah. Yeah. They did the Mac. I mean, they did the Mac part for that and, and for Linux yeah. too. <laughs> There's Pharaoh. They did say they were going to support metal. Uh, metal. <laughs> Bioshock remastered. They do. They do a lot of iOS porting too, though, so that makes sense. Ballistic Overkill. Oh shit! Remember that? No, it, it wasn't a bad game. It just uh-huh. it was me. Dude, ever. whatever happened? Did that game ever get an update? The uh, hover racing paint game. I think I know what you're talking about. Maybe. Yeah, like had the like, anim, like cell shaded racing where you had to paint the track and put the mechanic. Oh, over. that one. Yes. Yeah, yeah um, it was like a high polished, like nice looking thing. And I, after like three months, I didn't install it, or I uninstalled it. I deinstalled it even because it never got an update. It's just like they abandoned it. Yeah, it was uh, UE4 too. Matrix, yeah. That's all Trailblazers. Some... Trailblazers, okay. Has it received an update ever, period? None? Not to that I can see. I want to find the story behind that. Hey, if you know somebody that like worked in that studio, because that is a very... Money was spent on that game. Like... Obviously, they came yeah. up with characters, backstories, and it's like, nope. Yeah, no, uh, you know how Steam store pages have that little section at the top with the updates? This mm-hmm. one doesn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm, 
it, it's all, I, I just want to have a curiosity wink on it, but yeah. I need to download. What did you end up naming it, Pedro? Uh, I called it Game MP4. How dare you? I asked you on, <laughs> I asked you on the Hangouts, what was the file name again? <laughs> the reason I didn't reply is because I'm just going to change this in to whatever you ended up deciding. So if you ever talk some shit, I'm like, you came up with a name. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's, it's it's the frame shifting game. It's speciality. Much, strategic blade. <laughs> game dot probably in four V because he likes to use handbrake. Yep. Well, I specifically changed the extension to MP4, but all right. <laughs> yes, is that why it's called game dot MP4 dot M four V Pedro? Oh, fucking Google Drive. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all M4V is a, is an iPad, an iPod compatible um, container. You can disable that in Handbrake. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. T-Y-L. Yes. <laughs> tiles. Delicious tile. Tile pods. They're like pods, but tiles. <laughs> Don't ask. They're nutritious. Video source is delete plus the ad and the ad files. Game.mp4.m4v from now on, Pedro. <laughs> you fucked yourself on that dot, one. Dot, dot, dot exe. <laughs> dot final. The come up mob. What? Oh, you see, you're in Los Angeles with the. LA crew, so that like I was like you could be eating tile or you could have got cut, man. I, I can just see like, you know, straight like, I, 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 I like, actually you wanna know where I got the smile. I, I really miss the LA Mexican food. That was so good. Oh. It's better than the um finish. Mexican Way better. A little bit. Well, good. <laughs> not, not even a comparison. No. <laughs> not this. We're not even talking about the same sport. <laughs> like comparing Major League Baseball to T-ball. Oh, dude. What's going on? Are you force feeding them tiles? No. Cor what was that? What the hell? Nuts. Corn. Or nuts. I don't have enough drugs to play with this magic image. Be stabbed. Well, you're in LA, dude. You better be armed. Everyone else is. Have you ever, like, lived... How, how's, like, the crime rate? Because I know there's some shady-ass places in Toronto, but not where you live, the, right? Um, I mean, like... Have you ever, like, walked up, get like, 3 o'clock in the morning, do you think twice about, like, fuck it, I need pizza? <laughs> no, but that's be that's because, like, people leave me alone. I, I'm, like, if, if, if I were, like, a 100-pound woman, I would definitely be concerned, but... I'm not, so I'm not. Uh that 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 said though, there there's Toronto Toronto's a big city, so you can you can get stabbed. There 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 have been people who have gotten stabbed in my in the area I currently live in, so What about like in your building? Pretty pretty chill. <laughs> Walk around that sucks. I mean I don't, I don't know. I don't I don't I I mean, I, I've stabbed myself in this building, but mm. I don't think that counts. <laughs> I don't know. I got some friends that live in like some dodgy ass places, especially in Atlanta. Like here's fucking Mayberry, where they just leave shit in your front porch and just like fuck off. Well, yeah, you 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 also live in a gated community, so. And. <laughs> you can walk by the gate. You just can't take your car. <laughs>
Uh, I well, too lived in a gated community when I moved to this country. It just happened to be, um... Yeah, that's because they were trying to keep you lot in. I, 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 have, I, have, I, have, <laughs> yeah. a, I have a, I have a pretty intense resting bitch face, so... Yeah, people, when I'm just walking down the street, I just look like I'm mad at shit. I don't look like I'm mad, I... Okay, I've been told I look like I'm mad, but I'm not. Most Apparently, time, I, I look like I'm mad because that's like, are, did I say something? Why are you mad at me? I'm no, not. I, I, like it is, <laughs> it's like my thinking face. You know, I'm like really like focused on like, swimming pools or something. I, I, I was working. At I'm Costco focused once. on not whatever is going on around me because I don't want to be. If you see <laughs> yeah. me smiling, then you need to tear the hell out in the opposite direction. Then something's right. wrong. Yeah. Something is no, I, 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 was, I, was, I was working at a Costco once, and I was sweeping the floor, and like, periodically the managers would come up like, Jordan, is everything okay? I'm like, yes. And eventually I'm like, why are you asking? Because you look so upset. I'm like, I'm looking at the floor where I'm sweeping, because I figure I should not, I should look at the thing that I'm sweeping, so that I know if I'm doing a good job. <laughs> They fired me, so. Yeah. Oh, it's like, well, how much, how much joy do you expect me to extract? From yeah, this? I, 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 I basically like did like a sweeping motion, like, and they're like, stop that. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go back to sweeping the floor like you fucking asked me to. <laughs> like, what, what, what do you want with my life? I don't understand. Dude, not so nice area. <laughs> I don't know. Um, last time I was in Portugal, and um, me and Nori went um, to the mall, and Nori's mom met us there, and then, and then she stabbed um, you with a bullet. No, uh, then Nori told me it's like, yeah, you had your usual face on. Like, yeah, yeah. My mom thought you were mad at her. You're like, oh, I'm really pissed off at your mom right now, but that's besides the point. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I'm not mad at your mom. I'm mad at your dad. <laughs> so, yeah. That... I don't I don't know. I, 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 ha I have, like, the angry face, but also people think that they can just, like, walk up to me in the middle of the road and ask me things. I finally got in the habit of like locking my front door. I don't lock my cars, period, because that just means that I'm gonna have to deal with the shit being stolen and a broken window. Mm hmm. So. I did put fancy new deadbolts after I got uh, after I locked somebody in my house that one time. It's like, yeah, okay, that's so crazy. Uh, they escaped, so you're like, no, that's not happening again. It's just a weird call to get. And you're like, um, I don't mean to. Uh, I'm locked in your house. Like, uh, I'll come let you out. Which I really should. This should have been one of those red flags. It's like, no, I'll just stay here, wait on you. Well, like, you don't really have an option, but it was put like, no, take your time. <laughs> All right. It's the man. Apparently, the tough neighborhoods in Cambridge are right in the middle of town. <laughs> well, I live frightening close to downtown Athens, which is it gets more gentrified the closer to the center you get. <laughs> like, it's just nothing but what, what, all, 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 all the white people fled Atlanta for Athens. Oh, man. It's like milk salad, <laughs> dude. It's very boring. All right. Uh, we're good to go. Yeah. Locked and loaded in three. Two. Welcome back to the Chairquisition where the accused must survive trial by Backward Fedora. Scoliosis. No, Neon, New, 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 and Dubois. <laughs> uh, this week, we're, we're taking a look at uh, Mars Power Industries.
You'd love to touch it, but you mustn't touch it. It's filled by seven A games done on Unity 4. You can pick it up for about three bucks. What is it? Mystery puzzle game about research and management. All about optimal building placement, order of operations, and saturated synth vibes. Check, chill out, and explore what strange devices are up there on Mars. Every puzzle can be solved in five moves or less. Uh, these guys sent. Did these guys send us some keys? Or they sent us some keys. I thought you were going to say five minutes or less. I was like, that's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically true, but you know, in practice, it might be a little different. Um. Anyways, uh, we got to thank them for that. So let's let's get started. Vin, how did it work on the boy? Man, on the uh, freshly updated ten point two uh, with the f- yeah five thirteen uh, new kernel hotness. Anyway, it's Debian stale for the most part, man. Unity scream of no, hundred percent. It's like that's something I haven't seen in a while. That's that nice little pop up window that it's like oh I remember you minus one chair off the bat. That's how I remember you. Look at it. It's a puzzle game. 60 is going to 60. I did it at 38, 40 by 21, 60. I'm assuming you're going to have the equal, equal experiences at 1080p, 1440 or anything like that. Graphics didn't experience any glitches. Then again, there, if I did, there wouldn't be much in the way of options outside of like clothes. Controls, eh, it's gerbil joint, man. Click, drag, click. So over here on Debian for quality assurance and give it three. And again, you always will get dinged a chair for that Unity scream. Oh, Especially yeah. 2019, baby. Re- yeah, mm-hmm. re- remember seven years ago, you guys, when this was common? <laughs> yeah. On uh, on Fedora 30, uh, 64-bit with the i7 6700K with the mitigations turned on, but hyperthreading turned on as well because I'm crazy like that. Mm. Um, yeah, it, it does launch, as, as, as mentioned before. Nope. Minus one chair. Uh, <laughs> performance at 1080p. Yes. Yes, it does. Graphics-wise, it's Microsoft Visio the game, so you're not really demanding much, but it, it gets the job done. And for control-wise, I mean, you use your mouse, and if you're like me and you got a touchscreen laptop because it was cheaper than the non-touchscreen laptop, you could use that, I guess. I don't know. I'm not your mom. Do what you want. Three chairs. Yeah. And over here, yeah, the, the, the Unity screen of Nope does not handle dark themes all that well. I have the Adapt to Nocto theme, for those of you who care. Um, yeah, it it doesn't look good. And yeah, in 2019, that gets you dinged a chair. Um, over here on uh, KDE Neon with the GTX 1080 and the 3700X, 144 FERPs, because it seems to V-sync to whatever the uh, refresh rate of your monitor is, so that's working correctly. Uh, the graphics are simple and effective, and the controls, yeah, you it's draggy, droppy, done. It's very hard to screw that up, so three chairs. I like that, man, that your new thing is like, it's the equivalent of I run Arch, it's like, by the way, 144 master rates. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, to be fair, you were doing the same thing when you got that UHD monitor where I caught up. Uh, but anywho, anywho, uh, <laughs> it runs just, it's like nostalgia for 2012. Uh, did you have fun with it, though? I don't know, man. You hurt my Fifi. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> just the one. The just one, the one. Fee, dude. <laughs> my one Fifi. Ah, uh, I hear you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oh, noes, you scream. Another puzzle, Graham, you shout. Yes. It's a mobile game. But it's also on the Switch, and you know what? That's what made me give it a look. Because Nintendo usually doesn't let shovelware on their store, so I'm thinking maybe there's something to this joint. Maybe it's a good puzzle game, because if it's going to be a good puzzle game, it's got to have one of two things. It's got to be simple and hard. That can be difficult to pull off from time to time. This, it manages to communicate what's going on without much in the way of handholding, and I like that. Starts out simple, connect power lines, try to figure out how the spikes are coming out of the ground. All that business, how does it work? Then it's on to power distribution and various, various entertaining ways to cock that right the up. Drill, baby, drill. Because it doesn't stop with power distribution. No, you, you have to move around drill juice and somewhere around year 10, it comes into play. And... That equation makes things decidedly more difficult. Then year 18 shows up because you play each map as a year. And year 18, you know what? Fuck year 18. That's all I have on that topic. (laughs) After that, you get the tools and skills, basically everything needed to solve the puzzles and some 
devilishly clever puzzles they are. I made it a little past year 20 before I felt the game was genuinely mocking me for my small genitalia. Now, like Steven's sausage roll, this does that really tricky thing of giving you something that appears to be wicked simple and pours a big healthy glass of because fuck you. That's why. Right on your face, Oregon. Turns out I like a good facial, man. Mars Power Industry Deluxe. I can't give you four chairs. It's not that great. But you're talking about something that's two ninety nine on the Steam Store? Man, I got my two ninety nine worth. 100% on that. So I gotta say, fun, man. I'm gonna say check it out. With the three chairs. Now, something I do want to throw in is... I think this will work better on mobile. If you're, if you're going to spend your uh, two quid, maybe think about getting it on Android or maybe think about picking it up on the Apple store because this is something you can pick up, put down. True. Although I think if you buy this on like a phone or a tablet, you're risking your legs going numb in the bathroom. But that's just me. Yeah, puzzle games are, <laughs> it's, it's the thing that you play when you really want to be reminded how stupid you actually are. Um, and Mars Power Industries isn't too bad a puzzler. puzzler. Sometimes I disagree with the mechanisms, i.e. when the red spikes show up, because that's a little inconsistent, I find. But you know what? What you? I'm in your house game. I'll play my rules. There's also a little bit of a story there, too. That's kind of like nano machine, cosmic horror, space baby something. I'm into it. I don't, it, 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 it does it in a very clever way, where like it uses the game to... The game mechanisms to actually tell the story and when things go wrong you're like oh oh something's up okay i'm i'm intrigued um but um yeah there's also something about like a like a nano machine hologram strawberry evil thing i don't know uh but yeah you 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 place your things you try and find the optimal path and build order and it it gets pretty challenging sometimes and it, it much like Steven Sausage Roll, this gets this comparison will get brought up a lot. You get stuck in a rut because you're like, okay, there are only so many combinations, but then your mm -hmm. brain starts to like discount other combinations that are actually the correct ones, but you're too yeah. stupid to realize it until it's too late. Oh, especially um, when you drill down, you're like, I only have three pieces to use. Why can't I figure this out? Yeah, but I mean, like 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 Ben said, it's the sign of a good puzzler. There's like the the the, the mechanics are simple. But just because the mechanisms are simple doesn't mean that the game itself is easy. No, no, sir. <laughs> and then, and like uh, they they add the the way they introduce stuff is pretty is pretty good too. Um, eventually you get to the point where like alien monoliths drop from the sky and you can get sucked into another dimension and fight the moonworm. Sometimes you can't fight the moonworm though. You need as much as I want that thing dead. Sometimes you need the. <laughs> power things for other things i don't know it's pretty fun i sunk into i sunk about 90 minutes into it just kind of like idly derping around so it's kind of a sit back relax and chill sort of game i'm into it i will give it three whole chairs yeah and yeah for a while we whenever we threw chairs at a puzzle game we used steven sausage roll as an example then baba is you came around and it gets four chairs across the board yeah, that's the first game to do that without involving um, ponies. Ponies! But uh, <laughs> this isn't uh, Baba Is You. Not by a long shot. But it is a damn good puzzle game. Like the previous two examples, uh, Mars Power Industries Deluxe does puzzles right. It gives you all the tools and all the information you need with damn near no text on screen whatsoever. Uh, then they throw you a curveball right on the blurbs like all the puzzles can be solved in five moves or less, to which I say yes. Unless you want the strawberries. Because if you want the strawberries, you can't do that. Fuck strawberries. Uh, the <laughs> The sole reason I can't give it um, four chairs for fun is because they, to me anyway, they feel like they pat out the game. Just as you hit level 20, uh, yeah, you get those alien monoliths that drop from the sky and require you to actually go back and actually to levels that you've already finished and get, well, activate them. That to me is like, oh, really? You're patting out the game? Alt have four. That was the first time I rage quit. You know what? Uh, Not nice, clean uh, Alt F4, though. Yeah, yeah it is. But, 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 it is but, but Unity. Then it, then, so. it, then, it, then it gives you like a random <laughs> folder in your home directory, and Pedro's just like, ah! It doesn't. That's the thing. It does not. This game it will, it does, does not now. do that. 
the yeah, the, the, it is completely optional, and you can for the most part ignore it. Although I'm pretty sure it will change the ending a little bit. Uh, yeah, the, honestly, this is a good puzzle game. It's not you know, Baba is you good, but still pretty good. Three chairs. All right, there you go. It's it's pretty good, and for like three bucks, I mean, why not? I'm gonna right? say if we're talking, oh, yeah. yeah, for like two ninety nine. <laughs> um, I. Again, I like being pleasantly surprised because this this is definitely another one. I know, like, week before last, what was the match three game? I'm like, ah, I'm gonna pick this up. It's gonna be dumb. We're just because we do that a lot. We get yeah, stuff. Then, then we're like, nope, we're not even gonna waste our time with it. But you always gotta like take a peek. Um, this yeah, it's like twenty minutes. And it's like, oh shit, that. It's like three bucks. Unlike Steven's Sausage Roll, which is like 40 bucks. But uh, we were talking before we went live. One thing that would definitely kept me playing longer, free pro tip, is if there were letter boards. Because I didn't know these two ass banjos were kicking my ass so bad. I would have went back in to settle that up a little more. Because I tapped out around like year 22. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to break something. Yeah. Well, yeah. It, it, it needs some full contact online multiplayer. All right, coming up <laughs> next, we talk about budget AMD builds and why Stadia will rock all our soxes. Roxes our soxes. Too late. No! Monster. Yes. What do we have? Oh shit, we got a tie is what we have. Squid based and full of hole. <laughs> Stalker. Froggy Witch. Eh? I'll give Linux a vote. Dinky Mixer. Aw, oh, no love for Linux. I, I gave it a vote. <laughs> Limix. I love Limix. I run all the Limix. <laughs> so we have those custom titles in Discord now where you can just set yeah. your own. And Arthurian made me laugh because he initially had like uh, Manjaro. Da, da, da. It's like, isn't that saying I run Arch with a bunch of you? Just change it. I run Arch. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty well done. Yeah, my custom one was just will you shut the fuck up about the custom titles already? Because every time I turned yeah. on Discord, I got that stupid little pop up. It's like, yeah. fucking really? <laughs> that's cool. I was reading on R Debian. I was like, so how's Debian? I, I want a stable system. I'm running Manjaro. It's like, ooh, it's not that unstable, is it? It's Arch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lousy smarch weather. But don't you think you'd want to take, like, a middle ground going from, like, something that is, like, very up-to-date to something that is, like, yeah, not so much. This is this is why I jump between Fedora and CentOS. Well, Fedora Although, keeps you on your toes. Though... <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, like pe pe people give CentOS a lot of guff, but like the latest one, uh, CentOS Eight is out now, and that's based mm -hmm. on uh, Fedora twenty five, twenty six. It's it's pretty recent. There's like a couple of years after a CentOS release where it's actually pretty decent in terms of what it provides. Uh, I said one hundred percent. If that was around when I was moving everything from Fedora to Debian, that's what I would have picked was CentOS. Mm -hmm. But it was just too old. Yeah. yeah, but it's 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 for, it's the long lived branch, right? It's well, right, the, right. Like the current version. I mean, but since seven was way too old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Though they're 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 playing around with like uh in, in in Fedora, they're trying to like segment it so that you can like have different component levels of components have uh, different life cycles. So you can have like a stable kernel and then like up to date glibc or whatever, and you can mix and match and have That'd stable stuff. Nice. Where, yeah. <laughs> they've, they've 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 been trying to get that down for a few years now. It's it's tricky though, right? Because of like the way dependency management works. Oh yeah, dude. Um, yeah. 
If I was going to tell somebody to, like, if you're building HTPC box or, like, something that you just want to set it and forget it and not worry about it, but if there's ever, like, an oopsie just in case, 1804. Yep. That, that, that's got a big L in the LTS on that one. That's going to be, that's going to be the big L because that's last 32 bit you're going to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that they have the uh, whole 10 year thing going on. That. It's 10 years, baby. <laughs> Jackbox, Jackbox is connected to the thread booper, but it's not connected to the internet, man. It's nope. You're done. Everything works. Good. You're going to become that computer. <laughs> It's like, when was the last time this thing's been updated? It works. Leave it alone. Don't poke at it. <laughs> right. It ain't broke. Don't fix it. Go away. Shh. That is so <laughs> hard. That is cruel and unusual punishment. I want to play with the thing. Nope. Don't touch it. I'm going to touch it. Don't right, touch it. I'm going to touch it. <laughs> is gold a native to Earth? The, um... Have you found any good subreddits lately? Uh, are are the straights okay? Is pretty good. All right. Well, it's just like um, gay gay people like riffing on straight people complaining about their spouses. Hmm. I'm trying to think, have I? I know I found one this week, but I can't remember what it was. It was just so random. Ah, here's a good one. Boot too big. Boot too big? Yep. Yeah, don't even look at it funny. That's, that's like... Getting something stable and it has like one job and it does that job fine, it... There's, there's something to be said about just having the willpower to never touch it. Roses are red, horses eat hay. Huh. There's okay. some stretches in there, but there's some jumps. Yeah. <laughs> and there's just some legitimate dark shit in there, too. Um, see, the trick kids is to get Jordan squirreled out on something that might provide additional content to the show. Roses are red. Get out of my sight. Charging my butthole in the sunlight. <laughs> all right, all right. 1910, mate with Plex. Why do you have a GUI? I don't even want to tell you what my Plex box is running, dude. Roses are red, trees are wood. That possum smell powerful good. Have you ever smelled a possum? I have not. I want to hang out with a possum, though. They seem cool. Actually, no, I've... I think technically sugar gliders are possums, so yes, I have. Hmm. Oh, true story on Jackbox? It is running Gnome, whatever shipped on 1804, and it boots into the GUI because when I was setting everything up, I just needed to see if things worked and i was like does gnome have like an application starter thing like xfc of course it did so i just threw like all my little netjock commands and stuff like that i just mm. left it i mean there's not a monitor hooked up to it it boots into i don't know like maybe a desktop i don't i've never plugged a monitor into G C. like GD gdm starts and that's about it yeah it, it, it starts and it runs that and then it's like you know what that works What are sugar? Are you? I thought they were squirrels. Sugar gliders? No, yeah. they're they're possums. They're like um, they're tiny too. They're like yay big, bite sized. Yeah. Yeah, small nocturnal gliding possum belonging to marsupials. Yeah, they're marsupials. Yeah, I, I had a friend who had them as pets. But they're they're okay animals. I I don't have anything against them. Yeah. I, I, I just feel super paranoid around them because they're, like, so tiny and I'm not. Right. That, yeah, that's what it would get, like, weirded out. And, like, people have, like, small, like, puppies and stuff. Like, oh, they sleep in the bed. It's like, that would be so dead. Yeah, I'd just roll over. Right? 
<laughs> Difference between an Australian and American possums? I thought marsupials just marsup. Yeah. Unless there's like know, some it's, bogan it's... opossums. I mean, I mean, they're they're native to Australia, right? So like, they're subject to the same pressure cooker that all those spiders are. McEwen's champion. I thought it said meatball. It's um. Hey man, don't. Seven point three. This is the good stuff. <laughs> I was about to say, Pedro's like, man, we're done with the home stretch. I can ride this out. Fuck it. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> It's 7.3 and it doesn't taste like dirt. So. Dude, I really yeah, think that bad. cat has autism. <laughs> That's a skunk. That is not a skunky dipshit. That's an opossum. No, the autistic cat was a skunk. That's an opossum, though. <laughs> You're an opossum. What? <laughs> Oh, Apparently see. the Australian possum's real cute. <laughs> yeah, they just got different names, man. See, the American possum's seen some shit. That's all. The, I mean, I, 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 lo I love like the screaming face that American possums make. It's so good. <laughs> the opossum face might have been modeled off that uh, Beetlejuice. The um. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I I get I get that reference, yeah. Do you expect the eyes to like be on his tongue, eh? Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? Okay, Jordan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Using your Prime subscription? <laughs> that one's not me, is it? <laughs> Whoever that was. Thank Good you. job. <laughs> Resub times two. Yeah. <laughs> See, I genuinely don't know at this point, Pedro. <laughs> oh, Salty X Salty gifted me one. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Salty. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I got a little concerned there. I'm you like, got a triple I... whammy because me and Pedro were like, we don't know if he's really just that spaced out right now or. I'm just looking at possibly. Like, did you now. just give us your Prime subscription? Really? <laughs> How does that even work? No, my, uh, my, mine's spent on someone already. I gotta wait until uh, I think it's two weeks from now, and then I get then I get it back. Aww, <laughs> so cute. It's cross eyed. <laughs> Smoochy boochies. <laughs> Rather hang out with that creepo than you guys. Uh, no. <laughs> what do I have? Do I? What do we have on the funny picture folder? Uh... <laughs> I was like, what do I have? A possum? Right, do we get anything? Like, just reach down, pick one up. I'm like, oh, all right. What are these? <laughs> I'm assuming everything in here is like some men are fucked up. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody pointed something out incredibly dark about Sesame Street the other day. I don't remember what it was. There's a lot of dark <laughs> shit about Sesame Street. It's Jim Henson, right? Yeah, right. Dark... I've, I haven't... Okay, there's something for me to watch. Um... Yes, our soundtrack, courtesy of YouTube. This is the best of the best. Yes. Although I did find a punk Hanukkah song, but we're saving that. For Hanukkah? Yep. When does fucking Hanukkah start? I don't know. I assumed it's near. Hanukkah 2019 is uh, December 22nd to the 30th. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, that I means remember it's this one. In... Oh, it's going to be in January in a couple years. <laughs> Interesting. 
Here works off. Here works off. <laughs> That's tight, yo. I saved that one. <laughs> Dude, they should have had Tress effects. Uh, that's the NVIDIA version. <laughs> okay. W what do we all think at home? Because um, I noticed even Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is very guilty of this. So, like, multiple hair rendering options. I don't fucking care about how the hair is rendered. <laughs> I guess for people who care about, like, the camera mode. That's what that's there for. Well, yeah, for people who are using photo mode a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Really? Because you would think that the game would be smart enough to do like a high res render for the freeze frame. Talk to talk to I Feral. mean NVIDIA was trying to sell Ansel, which was basically that, but in hardware form in their video cards. Did you see for the a while? leak? Uh not Ampere. Ampere or whatever the Ampere, part. whatever. Yeah, that was the one that Ampere. Uh it's the one generation after that, NVIDIA did like a little demo. Thing, uh, it's going to be called, uh, what's her name? Uh, Curie? No. no. Uh, Na Naval Officer. Oh, Hopper. Hopper is the next gen. All right, that's, that's cute. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be chiplet based. Okay. Wonder where they got that <laughs> idea. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the Volta series got one graphics card. Well, it got a few quadros, but, uh, it got the one Titan V. That's it. <laughs> All right, let me grab a refill, then we'll put some... Boom. We got a couple of little bits of hate mail. We, we, yeah, we got an oddly yeah. high amount of hate <laughs> mail this week. I don't know, man. I, I've just never paid attention to, like... The only thing I do to, like, at a hair effect system is disable it. <laughs> Speaking of things Scott wrote... There. <laughs> Scott learns it that makes sense, year. right? It is seven nanometers, and there is one really successful story of a seven nanometer architecture going on right now. <laughs> so Nvidia is going like, we could do that. We could do that for GPUs. <laughs> Three and a half gigs later. <laughs> Watch NVIDIA be the one to like have some matter of HBM that's actually feasible and cheap enough to mass produce. <laughs> yeah, you only get three and a half gigs of it. <sighs> God damn my tits. Fuck. Yes, yeah, so I'm talking sore. about the consumer one, Scott. <laughs> Watch them be the ones to break that barrier. <laughs> Tessellation. I remember... <laughs> uh, Crisis wouldn't work properly on AMD GPUs because it was doing, like tessellation that no one would ever see uh if you jacked up the graphics all the way up and um it was crisis i can't remember which one of them it was but yeah it's uh on nvidia it was getting much better score because the amd uh, graphics cards went tessellation what the hell is that <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the last, the last few our, uh, NVIDIA architectures were 28 nanometers, right? They're a few generations behind. Uh, well, AMD has pushed out the 5700 and the 5700XT, so those are 7 nanometer. Navi is 7 nanometer. Even in Star Citizen, you're never more than 100 kilometers away from... <laughs> it's 
space ocean. Yeah. Man, has anybody used Crytek outside of that? There's that ski game. Mm. Oh, yes, yeah, no. <laughs> you mean hard luck, the game? I mean, you're running into this... the game. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, deep cut. Lumber you it. <laughs> Amazon's Crytek? <laughs> well, not anymore, but... <laughs> okay. I had a video on ray tracing without an RTX card. Yeah, you also needed to install the um, CryEngine client thingy. That's basically what stopped me right there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for the 378th time, let's do some hate mail. In three, two. That was, uh, you know, to break uh, the string of uh, long shows we've had, this one was... Uh, moderately sized so if you'd like to let us know whether or not you prefer the longer shows or the smaller shows why don't you go to linuxgamecast.com hit the contact button and fill out the form it's pretty easy if you're a game developer just read the bit about sending us three keys or something that we can all play because well if you don't things aren't gonna go well for you and uh yeah you can ask jordan for relationship advice and of course any kind of comments that you leave on our Patreon page or our YouTube videos, we well, Patreon definitely you'll get um very much noticed. YouTube YouTube is pretty sweet, man. Those. YouTube is hard mode because Pedro will read them <laughs> and we don't get the notification and Pedro will never put anything in the hate mail segment. So and sometimes I get to come back and find them and I'll put them in. Ever since we started streaming on Twitch, I have Never even bothered going back to the Linux game cast. If, 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 we if we take a screenshot of Pedro's monitor right this right. minute, there's like six tabs open with like YouTube comments. That's it. That's what he does. He thrives off of it. He feeds. I mean, do you want me to post that screenshot? Because I just hit the button. <laughs> Go for it. I mean, yeah, after, after you minimized all those windows, sure. Yeah, yeah clearly not? we saw you. <laughs> All right, so Discord, there we go. Motherfucker, uh, let's get Dave. into it. Dave, talking about Dave. Vulcan. What's he talking about Vulcan? Let me hit you with it, man. And says, you know what game that Feral Interactive has ported to Linux, DMOS, needs a Vulcan update, question mark? I don't know, Dave. What do you think? He's like, yo, deus ex mankind divided, son. I do not foresee that happening, sadly. Oh, Dave... I feel you. Um, maybe if there's an internet feral that gets really bored or they just need something for them to do, well, maybe we'll get not, one eventually. I don't think it's completely out of scope simply because, you know, uh, you remember people were digging around like when they were first trying to figure out Vulcan, like th they slid a little bit into Hitman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That didn't really work all that well, but it was there. Then like Mad Max, did it ever get an official Vulcan thing or do you still got to do the beta? You still got to do the beta. And now we have Shadow of Hordor uh, with the Vulcan sauce. So, uh, you know what, Feral? If we can get some, we will re review that game because part of the reason that got such a neck because it ran like absolute shit. I so, mean, here, yep. here. so I, I, I have a thought. I think, I think they do have a Vulcan build of Mankind Divided. I think it's just really, really bad. I think the only, we, we, we see what they release because that's the stuff that they want us to see, right? Mm hmm. This is this is the stuff that's in like a semi playable state or one something that will perform about on par with their OpenGL offering. So I think maybe 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 they're working hard on that mankind divided, or maybe they've just given up because it's too, it's just too much work. Well, you definitely got to think about like after they get done with the experiment and stuff like that, 
uh, what's your ROI on even bothering releasing that? Because then you got to do the QA on it. Yeah. No. Uh, moral of the story. But yeah. The, this one, we've mentioned it several times. It does need one feral. Come on. Yay. I'd like to play it. Like, Good. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be you know, nice to play it at more than 35 verbs. Come on. I mean, it's I can not, play it at 40. And you know, <laughs> you know, somebody's out there screaming, he's like, shut up, Pogs, Company of Heroes. <laughs> I don't, I don't think oh, yeah, anything that can one fix that like game. Poop too. Oh. <laughs> I don't think anything can fix oh. that game. If you, if you throw Vulcan at it, it'll just make it worse. Well, what if I threw a RX 590 at it? Maybe. Oh, Josh, well, Josh then you'd have. Question. Yeah. We, 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 <laughs> He says, I have just discovered that the RX 590 is actually 1.9 teraflops faster than its successor, the RX 5500. I guess you are right about AMD not having a budget $250 card. They actually have a new budget card, but it's kind of pointless since it's slower than its predecessor. In terms of power usage and teraflops of performance, the RX 5500 is more like a 570 with some new features. Love, Jish. Yeah, it is. And that was exactly my point when uh, we were talking about the new baby Navis that were coming out. It's like, yeah, the RX 500 sounds great, but I want something that can actually compete with the 1650 in performance and not require the extra power. Because right now, on the really low end, like the 1650 is, and the eventual 1650 Super that NVIDIA will release, there's nothing there here, here, here's here's the thing with here's the thing with that though is that amd's not making any money off of these 580 590 sales right oh. like this is all this is all secondary market or like hat, leftover right. stock yeah. so <laughs> they're, they're 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 putting something out because they need they need something new to generate well, revenue mean, they have stuck i mean they could pull an nvidia nvidia has allegedly put the 2070 back in production mm. And it's like, and we're selling them because it's filling that mark between, you know, a 2060 Super and a 2070 Super. And I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. And right now, uh, yes, AMD has a very good mid range, but they need something on the low end and they need something on the highest possible end because, yeah, like um, X Salty uh, mentioned in chat, it's the 2080 Ti is still going completely uncontested. And, that's not good. No, see, you can do the, you can do the high end in your HTPC little box. So you get a twenty eighty Ti and a, and Dremel. a Dremel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, and you, you a can put refrigerator some on it and make it look to put brilliant. it in. Right. It'll be great. Yeah. It'll be brilliant. All right. Last but not least, from Retro Lies. Retro Lies is talking about Stadia, and yeah, the biggest problem with these quote-unquote game streaming rackets is you lose everything when the servers go down. And the thing that annoys me the most about this, we should have known this since the Sega channel went down once and for all. Deep cut. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, I think, do, you, I think do you even know what the I, Sega channel was? I do know what the Sega channel okay. was. I believe Super Nintendo actually had one as well, because that's where Radical Dreamers, the Chrono Trigger sequel, was published mm. before Chrono Cross. Um, but any, but yeah, I mean, we this is this isn't new news, right? Like we we no. we've known. <laughs> we were literally talking about it earlier. Like yeah, once once Google Access Stadia, and it's not an if, it's it's a when. It's um, a when, yeah. <laughs> those those games are gone forever. Well, you think that, that we didn't really even cover like the multiple points of failure between your super reliable ISP and on top of that Google like whatever interconnect you know peering mm. arrangement they have between that and the data center and the data center going down. Oh, oh man, Do you, can can I, I'm 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 gonna call it. We're gonna start seeing some Stadia optimized plans from AT and T and Verizon. And oh, you oh do. you can buy like the extra five dollar a month. Uh, Stadia just, just, thing just, that it just gives you unlimited traffic for yeah, Stadia. Yeah. The, uh, oh yeah, no, no, you, you <laughs> they, they they flip the QoS switch so that you actually Dude. get good traffic. See, this this is like how <laughs> fucked up the situation here is in the states. Is if Charter was like, "Well, would you like to buy the streamer package?" I'm like, "What is that?" Well, the same thing you're paying now, but you only get 100 down, but we'll give you 100 up. I'm like, yes. Um, <laughs> I'm so honest. Yeah, yeah, no, those packages. In Portugal, they just mean that you get unlimited uh, traffic or bandwidth uh, f for certain specific services like Netflix, mm -hmm. YouTube, and other video streaming services if you pay an extra man. 10 a month. 
This is this yeah. is why we need it so that ISPs and their media overlords can't pull shit. It's like the this. lack of net neutrality that you, allows for that to the, happen. I mean, you're going to get internet fast lanes, man. And trust me, uh, you know all, all your Comcast, your Charters, your Bells, they want to be able to sell you, you know, piecemeal it out to you because they, they, oh they, yeah. Everyone, they they really want to be able to sell it to you by like the megabyte. Like well, if they can Yeah. That that's the whole thing with like bandwidth caps. Like there's no bucket of bits on the other end of that connection. That's not how bandwidth works. But they all know that the future is all of them becoming dumb pipes. Yeah. And yeah, they, they don't want they don't, they don't want that. Nope. Uh-uh. That's gonna be a thing. But uh we want that. Yes. But it doesn't matter what we want because we don't have millions of dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. on that bombshell, let's drop the fuck up out of here. If you want to get a hold of me, I'm just at Vin Stone on Twitter or just at Vin at mass.linuxgamecast.com. I'll chat with you. I'll click on a heart button, maybe a star button. Who knows? It's kind of brilliant. A little bit spooky, just like that. I am Jordan Swung. I am the dumbest pipe. You can find me spewing shit at the Burning Fool on Twitter or at our Mastodon at Frojo at mass.linuxgamecast.com. I would very much contest that I am the dumbest shit. And uh, at that account, you are, you are on the Twitter. dumbest shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole at thing. At that accounted for on Twitter. Follow me there. If you post interesting shit, I will follow you right back. That That's how it goes with me. <laughs> Safe assumption. We had to. What, what did we learn this week, Jordan? There had to have been one morsel we, we, of we, legitimate we, we information. We learned about. We learned what the difference between Australian and American possums are. Oh, yeah, there was that. Point. <laughs> That's what we learned. Tough the credits. <laughs> we actually it's learned true. something. <laughs> we, we, we are an abomination of the mammalian order, even though uh, Linnaean taxonomy is bullshit. Um, Damn it, I mistyped. I th- that was supposed to be the mailman order. <laughs> I, I'm... <laughs> Well, we got, we got to think. We got to thank our executive people. producers like Arthur and Mr. Fox Dog and Khamti and Metalgas and Michael G, Bob Ramps, Eldius, Haplo, Mackie, Scoots, Drummer, and Ooh. our lovely regular horse producers who aren't horned, like Jupiter Broadcasting or Lutris or Rene or Steve or Colin or Ryan or Linux Kim, Noob, or the other Jordan, the Naked Capical, Truth, Yabo, Yabo, Alan, yes. Satargo, Zoe, Zoe. The Gonzo Cold 2000, stuff. Sorceress, <laughs> Vertnog, James, well our latest and greatest. <laughs> yes. And Frank, get that ass out here. Start twerking. Nope. Shake that ass. No. Nope. Shake that ass, Frank. Because Mike Frank G will is be on top of that list and he's not going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> Listen, Frank needs to do more squats so he can get Should, some meat on those buns. He's to get ass implants. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta shake what your mama gave you, Frank. No. Don't, don't. <laughs> Are they going to be bone meal implants? <laughs> Pedro, you're skeletonist, all right? I, uh, <laughs> skelophobic <laughs> comment. We will not so, have that. Pa- Pedro, show. seriously, you have to realize that deep down inside you, there is a skeleton yearning to be free. The only part of your frame. One of these brush. days, it will be. <laughs> but not right now. You pushing your luck, baby. Bye bye. It's before 11 o'clock. Yay. Yeah, hey. <laughs> it's amazing when we, like, attempt. It's also amazing when we have, like, four stories in the news segment. Also, yes. <laughs> and we stretched them. Yeah. Like a boss. Atomic acid like, plants. Like so much goatsy, we That's stretched nasty. it. That's nasty. And uh, thank you, Salty, for gifting Commander Root another sub, I think. <laughs> if I guess, thank you right. for gifting me a sub to our <laughs> channel. Hey, now you can watch reruns. Pods. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's not like I can just go into the video console from the administrator panel and look at them, but you know, I, I it's the thought that counts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, if you type with your Twitch account, I think it'll do something different now. I don't know. Ugh. We're still learning how Twitch works. True. Very, very true. You got to think about what you're dealing with at Genesis. It's going to take us a minute. <laughs> it's sort of we orcs.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Apparently orcs, Twitch doesn't let you go orc. back and edit that, so... <laughs> That's why I stick to Discord. It lets me fix my fucking mistakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then cop to them immediately afterwards, because that's how I roll. I just operate under the assumption I'm going to cock something up. I'm like, fair warning. We're about to get started. That is how you begin every LGC. Yeah. I mean, if anyone ever wants to design a shirt that comes with, like, a warning, <laughs> I'll, I'll wear that. <laughs> I'm just going to buy you a bicycle helmet. Just buy, just buy him a t-shirt with a bicycle on it. Nope. Just a regular plain bicycle helmet. He'll know what it means. <laughs> Might also send you a pair of safety scissors. I Well, Nori has a pair of those, but yeah. <laughs> there is one here. <laughs> what the fuck can you do with some safety scissors, man? Like, you can't even Hard. piss I mean, something off with those, man. Cut paper. That's you can about irritate it. something. Yeah, whatever. you cut paper. <laughs> also, did did she get safety scissors because she has a U in the house? Yes, obviously. I, I, I didn't even think about asking the question. I just jumped to that conclusion. Mm. We should make a map. I don't know. She's had them for a while. I, I don't know where she got them. <laughs> that would have been the first. If I walk in somebody's house and I, I was like, all right, give me the backstory and the safety scissors. She found them in your butt. <laughs> well, you see, that would make sense, but I'm assuming this is not the case, Jordan. Therefore, the question. I, listen, must I, be I reject asked. your reality and substitute my own. It was in Pedro's butt. You do that. That's why you stub your toe so much. It's true. In Pedro's butt. Fact. <laughs> Okay, so uh, in Jordan's world, uh, my butt is strong enough to break his toe. <laughs> or come no, it's close the thing, to it it's, anyway. it's the right. thing, no, it, it's, it's not your butt specifically, it's the things in your butt. If you would learn to use the thigh master appropriately, this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> I don't you need, need no thigh master. master. <laughs> Man, I max, like, I, I, I straight up max out the fucking thigh crusher machine at the gym the odd time I use it. It's really stupid. Uh, fun times. I'll be back. Um, I don't know. Just what? Roll with it. Just roll with it. <laughs> Legitimately makes infinitely more fucking sense than. I kind of want to know. It I has. Technically, it has the word, uh, the letter is T-O-E. But this doesn't help the, uh... my situation. Now I need the backstory <laughs> on why that is, has toe relation. <laughs> is it token? Oh, or our token. Ah, I get it. Yeah, you're all dead to me. Come on, that was funny. J-R-R token. <laughs> ah, yeah, I got it. It's it, a dad it, it joke, wasn't... baby. Yeah, it, it was, <laughs> but you're not a dad, so that doesn't work. Dave, Dave can pull off some dad jokes. <laughs> Nathan, too, sometimes. <laughs> Nathan's jokes are a bit hit or miss. <laughs> Amen. Katana, you say it like it's a bad thing, then. Trying to eradicate that scourge <laughs> with their underground houses. They're difficult, difficult to root out. Sometimes I get them at Christmas, though. They think it's Santa. I'm like, rat a tat tat. Want to get down the chimney? <laughs> the night Santa <laughs> went crazy. <laughs> Dude, they're all talking about Isengard, and I'm just. <laughs> it's great. What is it? It's not the Babbage. What, what, what is the um, engine that operates on um, thermal differences? Uh, Sterling? I 
I do not remember the name. <laughs> I know, right? Sterling, yes. <laughs> With an I, I, not an E. <laughs> I, I could definitely set up a Sterling engine between the studio and the rest of the house. <laughs> I, I, I was using air conditioning, ladies and gentlemen, and I leaned back and like cracked the door a little bit. And I was like, ah, oh, getting too cold. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a nice AC breeze blowing in here. I gotta cut the heat on when I get up next time. Yeah, Nori bought one of those uh, teeny tiny um, 600 watt heaters, mm -hmm. and she uses it to warm her feet. Uh, that, but that, that she leaves it on for a while, mm -hmm. so yeah, the, there's a significant uh, temperature delta between here and the bedroom right now. <laughs> okay, I, I I knew this was going to be a thing. And it is. Give me my images. Come on. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, if I'm playing a game, I can actually put my feet uh, on the, like, vents on the top of my case. It'll Dude. be nice and toasty. <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, then I, I, got a, I got a question for you. Hang on. We're talking about heaters. <laughs> Motherfucker, I found a gaming heater. <laughs> Improve precision and dexterity. Dude. Improve reaction time. <laughs> you, you know what also works? Rub A535. Uh, okay, so I bought, I bought some avocados today. <gasps> it, it, oh, it's for the hands. Yeah, right. dude, it's, like, it's <laughs> legitimately a gaming heater. I tapped in gaming heater. Jesus Christ. It's real. It's thing. Okay, now we got to play a game before we get to the avocados. How much? Uh, let's I'm, see. I'm, I'm going to say 150 bucks. 150? 150 bucks. Uh, 200. Damn it, I'm going to price this right this 180. Ooh, all right. <laughs> In Volvo. <laughs> oh, shit. I was like, 370, but no. <laughs> the, okay. 179 bitches. Oh, damn it. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, if you didn't price this right, man, I would have won that. Uh, so, wow. so I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you have this problem or not with, uh, with avocados though. I bought like a bag of them and I'm curious, like, cause that's, I'm going to wait. That's for them. okay. I will use that. Yeah. that that's a problem. Yeah. Cause like <laughs> I got to wait for them to ripen and it's either I'm going to, I'm going to wait too long and a bunch of them are going to go bad. Or I'm just going to make a fucking ton of guacamole and I'm not going to eat it all because I'm going to try and ration it. And chili. Then... <laughs> avocado and chili? Really? Yep. Hmm. I'm just saying, if you find yourself with a shitload of avocados that aren't necessarily, like, extra ripe, you need something to smash them up, put them in, chili. That works. Hmm. Did, that... I, I wouldn't have considered chili, but you know what? Now that I think about that... Not, not a bad idea. Yeah, they have a generic enough taste that they basically go into anything. What's well, like a good <laughs> well, texture? They, also toast, I think. I think that's what uh, hipsters feed on these days. Well, no, it's, it's on, only millennials. Only ah, millennials. okay, it's millennial. <laughs> oh, what? There's multiple versions? The whirlwind? Oh, God. Okay, hang on. Wait, how, how much would you pay for whatever the fuck this is? I, I, I got one for you, Gamer Wipes. I'll be back. <clears throat> Wait, isn't the Vortex the smell one? Amplify your gaming. Feel pulsing wind and heat effects. Oh, this. this oh, thing. it's the immersion heat um, thing. Immersion okay, heating. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> can, 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 can you feel what the heaters cook? Ah, oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I think it was Gamers Nexus's uh, video that I saw about that. <laughs> Ladies. And gentlemen, if you show up to uh, somebody's house, they got that. They're, they're not breeding stock, man. Just <laughs> keep rolling. Do not have, yeah, do not have sexy time with that person. Just go away. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say 100 bucks plus or minus 20. 
I don't remember how much they said it cost. Well, it, it adapts, so I'm guessing it's <laughs> the USBs on it. So, so I'm going to say what you said plus minus twenty, so seventy five. Okay. Oh. Ninety nine. Oh, just without pretty... going over. <laughs> Dude, regular one nineteen. <laughs> Ninety nine. Man. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> So do you want one for Christmas? <laughs> Hell no. I mean, that, that's worth it to talk shit. Not just one. <laughs> A thousand watts. What the fuck? I have a um. <laughs> what I bought from Aldi's because there are these little German. For whatever reason, I just know because like the. It, just got the warning in German on it. I was like, oh, I guess it's made in German. It's first. It is like 500 watt or 1300 watt. And it's like $9. Mm-hmm. It's a little white and you just plug it in. Get it on 500 or you, I, I used it to find breakers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good way. Well, not find them, but test uh, how much I can get away because it's a handy little portable thing that can draw 1500 watts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, it's got like the safety thing on the bottom. With a, that's pretty easy to disable. Just tape it. <laughs> yeah, the one that Nori got. Um, it says that if it ever reaches like 50 C of internal temperature and the fan's not able to dissipate that heat, mm-hmm. it'll shut down. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> okay, Jordan. What up? How much for this heater that has USB and changes heat and cooling depending on what game you're playing? Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal your answer. I'm gonna go 180. 180? Yeah, I don't. Here, here, here's here's. Okay, I yes, know. let's get some logic. One, one, 180, whatever. I locked in. I I've, I I don't care. Let's do it. Survey says ninety nine ninety nine. So it's cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> plug oh, it, no, well, no, normally it's one hundred and twenty. I like that it's plug and play because it damn well better be. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's it, it's a heater. You just need to run electricity through some resistance and you get heat. Nah, Not dude, hard. you got to build the fucking heater modules. Now, the cooling thing I might be interested in because if I could like point that at my DKMS. Junk. If you hear <laughs> dynamic cooling modules, Canada residents pay discounted shipping. Hmm. Ooh. Ah. But like I said, can it like sufficiently cool my balls? Listen, <laughs> we, we we could do myth. I got, we could I bring got, back myth balls, busters. man. I'm just saying. Don't 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 laugh, Pedro. Don't laugh at my hot balls. It's that or cry, man. I mean. <laughs> And listen, we don't need to. No one needs to see a grown man crying about balls, unless he gets hit. That's usually, balls. Yeah, that's usually not a very good sign. <laughs> but you come to Linux Gamecast expecting class, exalty. The be classy idea of a but there's desk a time heater, and a place. I'm like, no. You want a desk heater? <laughs> get an eighty-one twenty. Or yeah, or an eighty-one fifty. No. Yeah. That that's a fucking gamer heater out there, man. It is. <laughs> it plays games and it heats the room. Effectively. Very, incredibly effectively. Super it's, effectively even. 1920. All all the bluster and like, oh the thread rippers get super hot. And I'm like, this would be great in the winter time. Right now, it's like best I can do is forty two. <laughs> Eat a bag of dick, 1920. I need like a 2990 WX and overclock it. And just put like yeah. a slice of bologna on it to cool it. 
Because <laughs> that's how I roll. I'm mm, metal like me that. Me too. <laughs> I'm just, I just, I, AMD. Just don't ask questions, but I have to RMA it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like why is there an egg sunny side up on the CPU? Ten sixty. I have like the super cool build, man. I got like, the nineteen twenty and the twenty sixty doesn't fan spin. That's about all it does. It's a founder's edition. It's over engineered. The um ten eighty peaks out at sixty nine Celsius, running at a hundred percent for yeah, no, 69. That's that's what I can do. <laughs> I think at 100%, this one to get up to like 65. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not when I haven't overclocked the memory by like 1200 megahertz. <laughs> Just because I can, I don't need to. It's like, what? GDR6, baby. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't bother uh, overclocking the uh, 1080, mostly because um, putting the CPU, like the GPU offset uh, to 100 caused artifacts to show up on screen, so it's like, all right, we're not going to bother. <laughs> when I first got, but I, I didn't get a 26 to play video games. I got it because at the time, it was the cheapest I could get hold of that NV encoder for touring. Yeah. I can get a 1660, which has, or the 1660 Super, that has that, um, encoder. Mm -hmm. And they could have sold so many 1650s if it had that particular, uh, Turing encoder. Yeah. It's... Oh, dude, as soon as I get a 2070 Super, I'm gonna butter robot this 2060, baby. You've got one job now. What off. is my purpose? You oh, encode things. Right. <laughs> really tick some people off. You should be doing more with it. Like, I, I might plug a monitor into it. I don't know. <laughs> Just for old times. I mean, Jackbox yeah, has a get... 980 in it for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real space heater. <laughs> no, not really. It's the twin frozer. The sp Oh, yeah, it's yeah. a big one, yeah. <laughs> the, the fans never spin on it. That's one of the reasons yep. it's in Jackbox. <laughs> it's like the backup emergency that just in case, kids, if, if you have the option, always put a video, even though you're like, this is always going to be head, but just in case. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I heard of Jordan. <laughs> Maybe he was saying, oh, awesome. <laughs> Either that or he's writhing on his floor, uh, soon to meet his maker. Win win. <laughs> or I guess he took the uh, the first puff of whatever <laughs> batch he was cooking and went. <laughs> mm, you smell what Jordan's cooking. <laughs> the Rock is going to have he's a uh, superhero movie. Wasn't he also running for president or something? He's legitimately going to be in a suit. He's, uh, who's he playing? Shot real. Hang on. We have Jordan. Who's Rock playing in the superhero? Who? What? Uh, Black Adam? Yeah, that one. If Formerly Teth Adam. Don M. Thank you for the sub. Or Salty, maybe. I don't know. Thank you, bitch. <laughs> Uh, I w I okay, watched... it was salty. Right. Gotcha. The, so uh, I, I, I mean, I've, I've read enough Ruben, Black Adam comics to new know Patreon. Like... Thank you. <laughs> wow. Have you seen Black Lightning? <laughs> that seems like I've heard good things. Uh, I've so I, I, I watched the first couple episodes. It's okay. Um, it's like the. It, it's still, like, a CW drama, but, like, mm. a lot more of the relationship shit is, like, focused on, like, the family side of it, as opposed so, like, to, like, the boyfriend-girlfriend side. Closer to early Flash. A little bit, yeah. Uh, but I haven't I haven't been keeping up with it. I watched the first couple episodes, and then I sort of fell off, because there's just so much superhero crap. 
Kind of like a little bit of superhero overload. I th I think um uh, I think it's become cheap enough to crank out now. Mhm. Mm and there's enough material that already fucking exists, so it's not like they have to like pay new pay writers to like plot things from the beginning. Cuz like Right away, from, like, the beginning of Flash and Arrow, they were setting up to do, like, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Like, it's obvious. It is the infinity gauntlet of, like, the DC universe in that it happened in and around the same time. And it was, like, a big deal. And it involved all the various characters and shows and comics coming together. And then they all died. And then uh, something else happened. But, you know, that's how, that's how these things go. Comics, man. And they're just going to do it on TV. It's cheap to do now, so... Yeah. Well, I mean... It's, it, they crank it out for real cheap. I mean, you've seen the VFX on Flash. Like, woof. Yeah. Woof. Stargate looked better than that. An embarrassment um, of riches, though, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, well, you know, I, I like this comic book superhero thing versus... I mean, we got the boys. Come on. Yeah. No, I mean, I mean, like, we're, 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 get, we're, getting, we're getting some good stuff now. Um I think now that people collectively people have realized that like, hey, comic books are not like just superhero stuff. They tell other stories, and some of them are really good. Right. Like, uh, what do you call it? They're, they're doing a why? They're doing an adaptation of Why Last Man. That's gonna be fucking crazy. Um, I'm 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 excited for like a lot of the comic book adaptations uh, that are coming out because there are a lot of good comics out there. People should read them. Ooh, we're doing Jack. Oh, oh yeah, this is the, yeah. this is the the newest. Pe Pe Pedro has not been jacked in this variety yet, has oh, he not? That's the old group. Where's the Circle Cam? I did one kind of Jack, the uh, trivia one with Ven. Yeah, with, after the yeah, after we realized that we couldn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I gotta relog in with Twitch. Yeah, you do. All right, now I am logged into Twitch. You monster. Uh... <laughs> I've done it. Um, It's here. Jackmarsh.tree. We got to log in with Twitch. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just need the room code. <laughs> Working on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we'll play a round of trivia murder murder. Tr trivia? I really hope I don't lose any more fingers. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you, can, you, you, you can get away with this. As long, I mean, as long as you have, like, your index and your pinky, Worst you're case kinda scenario, okay. hooks and tape, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, maybe, maybe, you, maybe you want your middle finger. I don't know. I get a lot of calluses on this finger. So maybe your, like, this finger is a little more important for a grip. I don't know. Um, so I believe I could give it to you in stereo if I had, you know. <laughs> Let me make sure you two find <laughs> suave intellectuals get in. Um, I'm, you know what? I'm genuinely surprised that like that no one has like ascribed any meaning to this gesture. Like <laughs> this basically means not this. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it seems it's like, like I'm a gonna waste. give you this, but without you know getting shit for it. <laughs> like it's it seems like such a waste. I think that 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 finger sign should mean something. Come on, Jordan, do it, buddy. <laughs> Go on, I got the notification, so you got it too. I I, <laughs> I, I, I I saw it. I'm just finishing a thought. <laughs> There we go. All right. So. Okay, this is going to be a mad rush. So. If you want in, prepare to get your in. But before we do that, we will light up Discord. If you want to get in on audio. We will be in the... Prepare your scene. anus. I mean your microphone. Same thing. Hey, yeah, give Pennywise ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I hear a chill. 
Hello. <laughs> Yay, we just hey, had a, hello. a great meeting Chance with the Atomic Ass. Yay. Where's my Discord audio? <laughs> there it is. Um, boop. And <laughs> reload. There we go. Nope, I am not making it better. Fuck off. How dare you? <laughs> yeah, I better not. <laughs> okay, since you guys are on audio, uh, I'll give you first crack. Uh, S B P C. Schools of one. Okay. Please. Oh, type. Ah. Uh. <laughs> For God's sake, Letters Twitch, are hard in let Australia. me log in. Oh, no. <laughs> I had no idea that was coming. <laughs> let me the, log the fuck in. Come on. Okay, so Foxy... Okay. <laughs> and we have one more slot after Foxy gets in. Oh, you think okay, he's going to figure it out? Play? Okay, I'm here. Yeah. Room code again, please. It's oh, on sorry. the fucking screen, dog. It is now, it yeah. Is? <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, da, 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 SP, PC, SP. So, son of a bitch, PC. All right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Foxy. Look, I have to make words. <laughs> yeah, that's how we make it. All right. And there's an empty. We got one in the audience. All right. Uh, uh, just go. Empty. Everybody's in. Go. All the words. How the fuck do I start? Are you going to make me use the controller? What? <laughs> Hard <laughs> mode. No, I'm genuinely Controller curious. over flash? <laughs> At, <laughs> <laughs> How do I start? No. Uh, whoever has the... Who's the VIP? Oh, there we go. There we go. Boop. Got it. Derp. That was on me. <laughs> derp. Vin did a derp derp. <laughs> derp a derp. Derp a derp. Derp a derp. Familiar with the abandoned building so I'm not going to die, right? Simply as the murder hotel. Everyone oh, we'll target Scott. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations. But. Derp. He's not here, unfortunately. Is. Oh, no. It's... The killer on the loose. I'm left side, I'm hurt. Yay. Go empty, get on voice if you can. Woohoo! <laughs> this Banana is phone. a call. Prepare to die. Banana boat. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. There is no social mixer in our hotel uh. ballroom. You've been lured into a murder scheme of trivia. <laughs> Only one of you Would you rather survive. this or Only like IRL song? Same outcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go this. This is a bit more interesting than so. First question. So was just too boring. Which of these is one of the eight clown commandments provided by Clowns of America? Damn it! Now I know there's just clown commandments. Oh god. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> they are the really, really, really. I'm talking to you too, audience. Oh. I haven't taken the safe bet. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna decide to take that one. That one. <laughs> Number three should be a the thing. Correct now. answer is who got the question right. What? Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> this game's rigged. <laughs> Welcome to room 101. It's non-smoking. Heads. You can you drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Oh, man. Hmm. man. Someone needs to pick which slots are Chief death zones. Knows. Go ahead, everyone no else. Blanco. Choose a slot to make it no oh, point. Whatever. One or the other. I never remember which one's which. Planko, uh, Pachinko. <laughs> it's, it's, it's got things falling down with bags and stuff. Yeah. One has blinky lights, the other okay. one doesn't. Let the game Ooh, begin. Yeah. <laughs> Pick a spot to drop from. Yeah, that, that 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 feels all the safe. 
Oh, <laughs> oh you dick. Don't. No. Yes. Oh, hang on. You think. That's not the result I wanted. Poop on a stick. Oh, you did it, Ben. <laughs> Automatic. <laughs> Only one of you can survive this game. And who knows? Maybe it'll be the audience. Hey, audience. <laughs> yes, we've had game. that happen before. Join <laughs> the audience at any time. Yes, we have. Yes, the first time I've played this, the audience won. Let's try another one. How many strings do most violins have? Eleven D. <laughs> oh, that's a real come on, really? Uh, I'm gonna fuck this up. This. Hopefully everyone. Dang it! <laughs> yes, I got it! <laughs> what did you think, Pedro? Kill. Three? <laughs> I had to remember Six. one time back to Six. Well, you monster. I was sure with four or five, but I think uh, it was four. The lost art of letter writing. Guess who will die? Uh, I'm Team Pedro on this one. I'm going to dictate a message to you. <laughs> write out as much of what I say as you can. Oh my. The player who writes the fewest of my words will die. Mm. You're lucky this is I such a good wisely. letter. And I'm starting it now. Dear dog it owners. What is it like to feel unconditional love in spite of all of your human flaws? I bet it is really nice. How do you feel about having to pick up dog poop? I suspect that is the best part. Time's up! Now let me just see what we have here with a uh, quick... And here's how you did! Uh -oh. Well, at least the poop wasn't brought up oh, by Jordan nice. or uh, One of you did Pedro. Pedro. Feel bad. Well, Titan. This oh, wow. is <laughs> Somebody didn't have a key. Were you, were you typing? Him? <laughs> 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 All right. Let's <Lesson> learn. <laughs> Don't worry. You're ghost now. Keep playing, and you just yeah, might steal someone else's died. life force and win the game. Uh huh. <laughs> it's kind of a dick Fire move. Let's keep moving. <laughs> If you spin the big wheel on the price is right, how many possible spaces could you land on? Oh, fuck off. Oh, God. Oh, fuck No. Me. Fuck this. Uh... Oh, spin the wheel of booga booga. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go. Okay. Nah, well, I, I know this one. one. I don't. Because <laughs> your price is right is different than yours. Pick a nice one. round number. <laughs> <laughs> To figure out this, it's going to be alive. God Come damn it. Yes, that's a thing to uh, Pedro. I knew it was like <laughs> yes. something new. Yes, it is. <laughs> I used to watch as a kid. Ooh, a pile cool. of money. Mm. Ah, damn it. Take as much money as you want. Okay. But it's five dollar increments. Or the least money, and you'll be sorry. Oh. Alright. Shaky fish. I'm excited to see what everybody took. <laughs> uh oh. The most greedy and least greedy. Oh, fuck must me. Be punished. Hey, 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 man. Can I have 25 bucks? Bye, <laughs> Nah, dude, I'm broke. Go get your money. Fuck oh, you. Oh, too greedy. I thought everyone was gonna go like 500 or something. When in doubt, tree fit it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember oh, that for next skeleton. time. Skeleton. Oh. I'm a fish We're skeleton. Here. When one player <laughs> yeah. Good job. Alive, we'll go to the final round. Next uh, question. What's the tenth digit of pi? Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Fuck me. No googling. No calculators. No nothing. I. Wait, is it before or after the decimal? Shit. I'm just going by regular. It's after the digit. decimal. Tenth digit. Uh, digit. So it, it, it counts all of them. In Canada, decimals sometimes are digits. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Time for consequences. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, it was that after was a death damn it, cocky, man. Now we learn Obedience. That's before the. That was after the decimal. Okay. As as you can before time runs out. Okay. The player who follows oh, the fuck man. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Dies. Okay. Wait, what? Uh, I missed that. They can't think quickly. No. 
No. Oh, this is Ben, you don't know. Rules rules because you have to follow a bunch of rules. Uh. Man, naming stuff is hard. Oh, sham it. <laughs> oh, go, Alan. Got it, go, Alan. Alan's doing good. Alan, Alan's got Come on, Jordan. Alan. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't know, man. Come oh, on, Jordan. I need $100. Yeah, it's like $100. Ah. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh. Uh, 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 Ooh. My brain was off. I got, I got, I got ADD doubt. I'm like, ah. <laughs> 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 That's the thing, Jordan. Oh, poor Jordan. <laughs> All right. Well, That's I can still steal way. someone's fucking soul. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. Body, body. Ooh. Oh, I know. Oh, actually, I know this. We've had this discussion. Yeah. yeah, this this comes up quite frequently. I have no idea. Like, dumb. I don't remember exactly. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? I don't drink. You lie. The answer is tequila. <laughs> every, <laughs> the answer to everything is tequila. The answer to everything is tequila. Who picked uh, this? Me. Yep. Yes, I got it. Max. Yeah, fuck for that. I know the gym. I like the gym. Horse. Let's see who has ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Wait, how did you not know that, Scoots? Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Oh, nice. Pedro, you do know that questions Ooh. on the system oh, okay. should be like asked, right? Now. What? Uh, the first eight letters of oh, the alphabet. Oh. Wrong, okay, that one. <laughs> now, let's see if there are any men. My first stress was taken already. <clears throat> Yeah, I guess fine. you can't be mind readers if you've barely got a mind. Damn it! <laughs> oh my god! Facts. <laughs> wow. Absent chat, fam. Absent chat. I think we got good coverage, yeah. including yeah. Venda type the the whole alphabet. Hey man, <laughs> the word alphabet. <laughs> yeah. I play by my own rules. Where's the tree in the world? <laughs> Shit. Where's the tallest uh, tree? Uh, 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 I know where it's the What do we call this? tree around here? <laughs> There's the tallest in the world? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know where it is. Uh, Damn it. it. Should have got that redwoods. Oh, uh, yeah. Down. I'm yeah, like yeah, Brazil because yeah, Brazil has like more yeah, trees. Yeah, I went right. for Brazil too. <laughs> no, like, there's the Amazon, and that has some pretty fucking big trees. Fair yeah. Well, in California, we both we have both the tallest tree oh, hey, look, in the and the oldest. And the oldest. Is on this mirror. Pay attention. Both to one limbo or a hard limbo? I think it's the plane of limbo. And Mildred will write a different word. Draw a word on the mirror, and maybe you'll trick someone into thinking it's Aunt Mildred's. What? Start writing on that mirror. Pay attention to the Draw words as they word. appear, and try to spot my auntie. Jill, we not only have the widest and tallest, but we also have the oldest. Yes. I knew that. So many convincing words <laughs> to choose from. Uh... Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote, or you die. <laughs> <laughs> wow, all that writing is much better than mine. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Looks like there's no fooling you. Trying to write yeah, you now. know, it, it, it is really hard to pick the legible. Oh, you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Maybe the one that didn't say Jill? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fuck this game. Oh. Glad you like it, Dunt. I didn't <laughs> try another one. Wait, well, we could be playing Alo golf with friends. Left a bunch of old crap in a steamer trunk the last time he was here. Ooh, I love Which steamer trunks. Which one of these trunks. pieces of old crap can my guest use to make coffee? Ooh. Ah. <laughs> This is easy. Mm -hmm. 
Can is it a thermal? Mm -hmm. It certainly percolates. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's percolating. Come on, it's not know what a percolator. Soldiers about, dance bro. for me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep moving. Right. I'm looking I for something heavy is. to pull up on a rope and then drop on people. Who makes pianos? Shit. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> they're, they're all Steens. <laughs> I wonder if I had a shop bing. not too far from Matthew's place. This. Yes! Yes! I've seen, I've seen enough pianos in my life that I'm pretty sure <laughs> that I knew which one it was. Well, I, know, can, can I love walk, using Cousin Aloysius's magic props. Uh oh. Make a space Skewers. in this box to hide yourself. Uh, oh, this is the knife one. Yeah. Some spots Tiny bit. Yeah. Don't overthink it. <laughs> oh, damn it. I know which one Jordan picked. Um... <laughs> Jordan's dead. He doesn't good. get to pick. Yeah. Now I'm gonna need some volunteers. Here's the fun part. You get a sword. See, you this get is a sword. how the game works. And you right? get a sword. Oh, and you get a sword. sword. Fun fact. When I'm I found this magic prop in the basement, it was full. Parry. Thrust. <laughs> Yes! Oh, oh. Damn it! <laughs> oh, I got oh, Pedro! I got Pedro! I got Ben. <laughs> I just managed to avoid that. Man, I got like dual, like, Prince Albert. Yes, you did, Ben! Stereo. Still alive. God fucking damn it! <laughs> one Shit. sword on that side! One! <laughs> yeah, that was me! You're the one to Damn you, Foxy! Damn you! I'm going to give you a Shakira! Shakira, Shakira! Her hips don't lie, man! She was born in South Africa. You're a little bit closer to escaping. Oh, wait, did you think it was going to be just you? Oh, yes, you should ask for hips. <laughs> if a ghost catches you, he'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape. Okay, Pedro, don't fuck it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. They must they be the to help them catch up to you. Uh, oh. uh, <laughs> Ah. Stop. <laughs> all right. If Gumby has shit. a star, <laughs> I'm Gumby. gonna lose no. that shit. Yep. Oh, all right. No, I. We'll just go. All right. Everyone got one. Okay. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh, screw it. Think I think I'll get it. one right. <laughs> Oh god, I really want to die. Oh! Dang it! Really? <laughs> That's you, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh shit! <laughs> yeah! Dude! Technically <laughs> all, because they made fresh cut grass? <laughs> yeah. I got that. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, fuck! Man, I got none, right? I got you, Pedro! <laughs> Jordan uh -oh. slide. It's on. Uh -oh. I got you! Oh, oh shit, but, but Alan is just so far ahead. It's only darkness. <laughs> yes. Oh, who, who died? Oh, Was God that damn it. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go, Jordan. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, mean... That's not particularly difficult. No, it's not. I know that. I know that. You really need a better outlook on things. <laughs> optimism. Yeah, optimism. <laughs> you shouldn't have optimism if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons. No, but I got I got that one right. But you got you killed by the shadow. Yeah. Crucified vegetable. <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck that means. Oh, I got one right. Neither do I, apparently. 
Oh, I got two reds. <laughs> got something. All right, Alan, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Shit. All right. Uh, yeah. Yes. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I yeah. hate tomatoes. I don't trust him. I don't know my tomatoes. I think. <laughs> Cartesian tomatoes. I do not. <laughs> oh, God, yeah, I thought that was a couple. Okay, I got it. Right. So All right. Close. Come on, Alan. Anonymous. Ooh. Uh, I, uh, yeah. I don't. Oh, yeah. uh, maybe. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. Oh, just no. one. Peng penguins. Yes! I'm oh, yeah. Just the penguins. <laughs> yeah, oh. just the penguins. Alright. Uh, damn it. Damn it, Alan. Not so fast. Get fried. What the fuck? Yeah. I know that nine stands Patterson, but yeah. Uh, I don't know that one. Oh, oh, fuck, oh, not a perfect yeah. answer. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh God. No. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh yeah, they do. Because oh, they can swim. Oh, they do, yeah. <laughs> All right. I ah, yeah, bitch. Oh, no. I'm Jordan's alive. in front. I live. Ah. Jordan. Math on. Come on. Time is almost gone. <laughs> Time for your mess. Mm. Nope. Oh shit! Pedro got it! Oh, oh no, that was all. Oh, I died, bitch! <laughs> Damn it, Pedro, and you're See knowing you. what years are leaving. Alan years. won. <laughs> Did he? Yay. I blame no, Wendy. You needed the perfect uh, answer, and I didn't get uh, it. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was Alan. Damn Mr. it. Mr. Alert escapes again. He's slippery. <laughs> Damn his math powers. <laughs> AKA his ability to do math. Man, it should have been reality TV. Made it fair. Well, we all fucked that up, but still. Yeah, oh, exactly. Man. Make it fair. <laughs> RNGs Jesus, take the wheel. Tried to hide, but died. Extra hard. <laughs> Trusted the wrong handwriting. Miss Bad at money. Yes. Bad at she money. is bad at money. <laughs> Could not escape could in not time. Could not escape in time. Oh. Womp. Womp. Le womp womp. Well. Le womp womp. I like the uh, credits song that comes after this. I'm not going to stay long enough for... Yeah. <laughs> well, like, Crayola makes stupid color names, right? Like... <laughs> Yeah, that well, does. it's Crayola, man. See that? That's Ex like, exactly. Well, like, that's, <laughs> I mean, the answer if if you ask if you have to ask the question, the answer is probably at some <laughs> <Yeah>. point <laughs> for like some limited release crayon promotion thing. They're like bondage dungeon steel or dude. I mean, it, it's like Crayola blood, blood latex gray. It could be like mildly. <laughs> Irritated Ardvark, and I'm like, probably, man, probably. <laughs> yeah. Fifty-two shades of brown. <laughs> yeah. Or is that just Call of Duty? My bad. That's a Call of Duty. Diarrhea. <laughs> call of Booty. That's a Saturday morning. <laughs> Oh, dude! Poopy. Somebody was like giving out the like it was like a golden snake award. Just looked like poo. <laughs> it looked like sparkly poo. <laughs> was it the coiled snake? Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait! So, what, what were they awarding this? It was snake a trophy, for? dude. It was like for, metallic. For what though? I don't remember. I was like, that just looks like poo. 
Like, in in commemoration of your amazing snake, we present to you it the golden snake. It was Tomb Raider. Like, it was Tomb Raider? Alright. Okay. <laughs> The fucking golden snake. Okay. <laughs> okay, so they were worshipping it. At least that makes kind of sense. They're like, we must worship the doo doo. It was a sparkly <laughs> poo, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it's a sparkle poo. Yeah, it's What the fuck is this rocket pass? <laughs> fuck off. Wake up, arise, Xbox it's controller. controller. Arise, denizens of the bullshit. Rocket Pass uh, 4. <laughs> Rocket Pass 4 is live. I don't know what that is. Probably well, <laughs> if you spend more money, you can find out. Yes. It might go clear. <laughs> right off, no, no way. Well, they're not going to use the Rocket Passes anymore because you're going to be able to buy Wait, it. Wait, goddammit. I didn't mean to do that. Whoever I just accidentally invited, my bad. <laughs> wasn't me. <laughs> it was wasn't me, me, apparently. Hold on, hold on. I just sent out invites. Okay. Yeah, I Except... had to not disturb on. Can you please send it again? No! <laughs> <laughs> if someone would like to invite Michael or Rohit. Okay. Michael. I see Rohit. I don't see uh, Poxy. No. He wants people what? to jump He's through He's invisible. I'm in. I'm there. Sure. No, you're I'm not. There. No. Restart Steam. Uh, no. Nope. Oh, you're oh, you online do. on Steam, but you're not in the game. Yeah. Right. The, uh, well, it, it shows that he's in game from here, so. Not well, here. It's <laughs> too late. It's too late. I'm in Scott now. jacked his spot, and now... Oh, wait, no. Now I'm is. in. I'm uh, he's in now. There, there <laughs> I go, <laughs> blaming Scott for another non-deserved thing. When in doubt, throw he, a Canadian he, under the bus. That's yeah, what I want to say. He deserves it for something, though, and that's what matters. Something's his fault. Blame Canada. So, Jill, do you have the footage of uh, Strider and Atomic fighting? Fighting. Oh, okay, yeah, fighting. Word fighting? Um, uh, or fighting fighting? I thought they were kissing. Uh, it starts with an F. Um. <laughs> it can be. <laughs> it could be fidgeting? Kissing, uh, who knows? It could <laughs> be miscommunicated. Fidgeting might have happened. No, I, I didn't take video, but I think other people did. <laughs> Sexy. Awesome. The French do not fight. They kiss. <laughs> they do not kiss. They fight. They do not know what they do. They just do what they do do. I like how he says that when the yellow vest protesters in France like started back up this weekend, but okay. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> the French has a fascism problem. The hat, man. <laughs> At least it's not when they lose a hockey game. No, this this is over fuel prices. <laughs> like I said, at least it's not over the fact that you lost a hockey game. <laughs> little column A, little hockey game B. Yeah. All right, give me two minutes. I need to piss. Ooh. Oh yeah, there's a little meme going on uh, apparently lately where. Uh, People are going to Tim Hortons and ordering nine cream, nine sugar because of Wayne Gretzky's uh, jersey number was nine. Ugh. No, you I'm might as well just drink this. a cup of cream at that point. Like exactly. Just you don't need cream. you don't need the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to drink half and half, just drink half and half, man. I won't judge you. I don't know, man. I mean, couldn't you pick like a hockey player that wasn't always roided up? Everyone's on steroids. I don't know. I don't watch hockey. I'm just talking to you, trying to start something. <laughs> oh, a like, guy. He passed a lot. Okay. You, you could tell me the fucker could fly. I'd be like, alright, seems legit. <laughs> I mean, I've Maybe. never seen Rain, Wayne Gretzky not fly. It's like curling, man. 
I don't know how that works. Doesn't make I sense. Don't. <laughs> I think it's basically shuffleboard, but like on ice. It's like old school manual yeah, Roomba. Pretty much. I mean, shit. All I know is that it's deceptively difficult. Um, Chibs, it sounds like a life insurance policy. Um, drinking half and half, so half, half of one half. man and half of the other? No, that's... Uh, <laughs> half and half's like chemicals and not milk, right? No, it's just, it's like... I think 10%. it's 20... Is it 10%? 10%, yeah. Oh, okay, so it's it, it's 10% milk. What the Cream. fuck is this percentage bullshit? Like, milk fat. fat. Yeah. I've never heard of that before. At all. I mean, we don't yeah, have it's, not, it's, it's, it's not, it's not really fat. common outside of, um, it's not really common outside of, like, uh, North America, right? Like, including dairy think. products, alcohol, so it's half booze, half Pepsi. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could, you could okay, do that. Right. Half, half and half. Half, half and half. We've got, a, we've got a drink locally called the 50-50, which is basically half to his old and half to his new. So, bad. That sounds like... It confused me was... Uh, I was always told as a kid that... Uh, well, you know, we were talking about milk supply at that 3.25%, uh, which is how much is milk, yeah. was supposed okay, to be oh, the oh. fat content that actually came out again. All right, it's, but then uh, I saw... it's 10 to 18%, actually. actually. Okay. But, um... I was just curious, because I, I usually go with the whipping cream, because shit, like, it's great in your coffee. Um, so I thought it was uh, 1 through 3.25 is regular milk, and then cream is above that. But then I found out about 4.5%, and now my world needs all that. Yeah. Milk's milk. Crying. Are we discussing the, the milk context the in the... Well, I, I mean, like, that, that, <laughs> yeah. that's the difference between, like, milk and cream, is, like, the percentage of milk fat, right? Like, that's it. <laughs> you want to put... Do you have skim milk in the... Uh... I mean, some people do. I do. Yes, we have skim milk here. Yes. You have, like, 2%? And... <laughs> we don't have percentages, we just have milk, it's you... skim milk. Do you, do you, do you have, like, the far. blue label milk versus the red label milk? No! What the fuck I is that? I don't know uh, if they color Yeah, it's like... red milk is the skimmed, blue is the non-skimmed, and there's oh, green in here. the middle, like half-skimmed. Over here. Well, uh... on, yeah, there's okay, okay. Spoken rule, like, skim milk is a lighter blue compared to normal blue. Uh, over here is some... Uh, oh, light, yeah, they, I guess the skim. color does change depending <laughs> on country. Fair. The light <laughs> yeah, blue is skim... Green is 1%, dark blue is 2%, and red is whole milk. You know, See, that, 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 that's, consistent, that's consistent with Ontario, at least. So I, I know in the US Not and the Canada, UK. they follow a similar, <laughs> similar See, thing. See, in the UK, red is skimmed, um, green is half skimmed, skimmed and blue is uh, whole milk. <laughs> Chunky milk? Uh, that's green. <laughs> <laughs> Chunky, I uh, mean, if your milk if your milk is green, you probably shouldn't drink it. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, yeah so I'd drink that. There's one guy I saw on Twitter that was in Ottawa, and uh, he was like, "I'm gonna buy, you know, some Canadian milk." And he pulls out a, a carton of maple milk, and we're like, "Maple milk? What the hell is that?" And it's maple flavored milk. That doesn't surprise me. They have like the strawberry milk and the chocolate milk at the stores. Yeah, I love yeah like strawberry milk. I love vanilla milk. Yeah, but maple is a weird flavor for that sort of stuff. It's yeah. basically just like sugar with a bit of a pungent. I mean, taste. it's an yes, excuse it's to sell sugar, sugar to milk. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> there, there's an entire industry on selling sugar to people. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, evaporated Ooh. milk is one of them. He says he looks up at a couple of balls of Coca-Cola. That's just what Big Saccharin wants you to believe, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, yeah, you gotta, gotta watch out for that aspartame. <laughs> so, Foxy, you've got regular milk, reduced fat milk, low fat milk, and skim. Whatever happened to milk milk? 
Yeah, exactly. There, no, 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 there's no, no, idea. no, there's no such there. thing no, as milk, no, milk. No, no, there's no, like milk, this fucking milk, broad ass spectrum of milk no, no, and cream, no, 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 and you just milk, gotta like drink a carton of it oh, and throw up a geez. bunch. Okay, that's a lot of half. An, it's half of half. What, what's the ingredients on that? It's it's basically <laughs> half milk, half cream. That's that that sounds Fuck very off. diabetes. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, not really. So cream not really. not sure. That sounds like lactose. <laughs> lots yeah, and lots of lactose. That, it's a lot of lactose. If you're lactose intolerant, you will have a bad time. What is that like? Do you even <laughs> keto, bro? It's oh. less lactose. I mean, it's less lactose. It's, it's more fat. I mean, there, there there is some like naturally occurring sugar in milk, uh, but yeah, but when you yeah. add when you add cream to it, you're reducing that. You're diluting it. A little bit. I mean, ten percent is not gonna be a whole lot. It's gonna be like a percent less or whatever. But I mean, it's it, it's it's milk, right? Like humans yeah. aren't really meant to drink cow milk. It's hey, just man. I can. You you. They have cookies. <laughs> I, cookies. Fuck you. Now I want cookies. <laughs> mm. Give me a cookie. You dunk that shit. Oh, it's the split goals. Yeah, baby. <laughs> no, no, oh, okay. no. All right. Well, it's Team Canada plus Portugal and Australia. Versus yes. the Americans. <laughs> Team form. Get the Americans. Boop. Team America versus the world, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, Foxy. Uh, God. Scott! What yes. the hell? Well, uh, <laughs> fucked up on that one. Oh, my, my language. Language, Scott? Oh my god, you <laughs> fucking bitch. <laughs> so, someone clip that out and send it to, um, <laughs> PC <laughs> Pro <Pyramid> Boys. <laughs> you flat asshole. <laughs> How dare you, you fucking mungus. Yeah. <laughs> fucking mungus? I don't, I don't know what that means, I don't know, man. but it's bad. It's real bad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you'll get it out of ah, I believe in you. No, <laughs> you freaking mungus, you. <laughs> oh, I just, Whoa. I just realized there's a certain word in that. Oh, go empty. <laughs> ah, no. Yes. no. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> well, we've all hit the ball once. Yes. yes. Except for Foxy. <laughs> We'll you it. had a chance that he missed. Oh, I'm still on zero. <laughs> We're, it's a, it's <laughs> happening, I'm boys. Still on zero. Come on back here. Ah. Woo. Woo. Hi, hi, Alan. <laughs> Hello. Wow. Yes. Get up there, Scott. Come on. Get up there. I'm gonna go up here. Wait. Let's <laughs> go. Why is there no one in goal? This is why we're getting dunked on. I was. I just. Moved, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> nom, nom, nom. I tried. We both went for it. You yep. hit the wall. I didn't. I went a little bit further. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. I mean, I mean, you have to go for it, right? Yeah. Yes. Damn it. Empty. Were you scared I was going to make contact with it? <laughs> no, you don't want that. I just no. I saved your life. Get out of my way. That was fun. The goal oh, is I'm gonna get hit on the, the board. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. It the went in the right direction. Get it away from. All right. That's all that matters. Ah, oh, hey, man. <laughs> the spirit. Nice try. The spirit was willing. Nice try, bitch. <laughs> Do better, Scott. Yeah. I booped it. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh, all right. <laughs> Very good, Foxy. Yeah, yes, Foxy. Yeah, <laughs> yes, Mr. Fox goal. Keep him away from the goal. <laughs> you got it, Ben. <laughs> All right, now we just have to get one point. Oops! Come on! Uh, too Scott. early! <laughs> too early, Scott! I worked real hard. <laughs> <laughs> too late for me. Oops! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh shit! Damn there it! There we go. <laughs> I got an assist. I got a pity. That would be an empty oh. net. Ha ha ha! <laughs> Team Canada, man, what's going on? <laughs> I get Person wrecked. Personally, I blame <laughs> Australia. <laughs> they don't play enough car <laughs> soccer <laughs> in <laughs> Australia. Go, Scott, go, 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 go! Oh. Go, go. All right. 
It's the right, it's the right direction, at least. Safe bet, sort drive of. behind the gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Come on. Give it around, give it around, give it yeah. around. Oh, never mind. Damn. Get out of the way. <laughs> get around, round, round. I get around, yeah. We will have none around. of this beachiness. <laughs> Listen, if everybody had an ocean across the USA, <laughs> everybody be right surfing. Right hey, I got a bunch of boost. <laughs> like in California. Eh? 91 boost. I can fly all the way Clear. across the field and miss the ball. I killed empty. So I got that going for me. <laughs> I know, sometimes I hit the ball to confuse people. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Right. Why did I not get a save for that game? Uh -oh. I don't know. Who <laughs> stole my booze when I was talking smack? <laughs> got a, got a smacky booze. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, going go, right go, 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 I was gonna boop it away, but I got booped in between. <laughs> uh. <laughs> in between nice shot. Oh, uh. right. oh, Pedro, yes. <laughs> Boom. Fuck me. And the tape. No, oh. Foxy. Not having that. <laughs> yes, no one wants to. Please, please, I need my superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> I need it for my sporting ability. Ha! Ah. Very good, Scott. <laughs> Scott, just gotta get one. That's all we need. Nope, don't let it happen. Then, then, then it's a moral <laughs> victory. <laughs> yes. Moral. Yes. Listen, we, we, we gotta get we, one we, more. We, 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 we ah. can't have actual victory, so we gotta have, go for the moral victory. <laughs> 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 just gotta be realistic, right? Come on, someone, anyone, please, push the button. One. I would like Yay. to see the other person, other goal. Oh, really? Come on. <laughs> well, here we go. Oh, oh no, that, that, that goal like counts. That, 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 that counts? All right, all right. Oh, the top oh, of the net oh. counts. <laughs> if it didn't, someone would just like ride like a ramp and hope that. <sighs> well, I did better than oh. Alan. Top of the net That's to the you, buddy. <laughs> 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 how the fuck, how the fuck did Alan and Scott. <laughs> Oh, Fuck this game. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the detached goals, they fuck with people. Oh, <laughs> Epic, you can use that sound clip a, there, for your next trailer for Rocket League. Fuck there's me. a reason when like they turned it into Rocket Leagues, they embedded it into the walls, because these don't work too well. They suck. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, give me a minute. Just gonna get a refill. Uh, I hate that. Up next, Pedro nothing needs but a that. Difficulty Hockey. multiplayer. Hockey with that mode. Can we do it? <laughs> with that mode? Drop shot with that mode? Giant puck, no spike. Spiky hockey. Alright. Spiky hockey. Giant bullshit. puck, bouncy, no spikes. Hmm. Hmm. You know, okay. throw, a, throw a no goal reset for good measure. Yeah. Fuck that up. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. A like hundred times boost. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it cap out of contact? <laughs> Okay, welcome back to Jordan's Wet Dream Game. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Liara, thanks okay. for the follow. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I think I got every single thing you asked for. <laughs> <laughs> Pug, yeah. Yes. 10x boost, unlimited boost, disable goal reset. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ultimate fucking round. All right. Damn it. 
<laughs> stupidest shit ever. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, yes. <laughs> Demo, you win. Victory. Right. Damn it. Hi, right, Jordan. Go, go, go. No. <laughs> Good job, Alan. <laughs> 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 No! <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, this way. Ben's in forever boost mode. <laughs> I just want to hit the ball. With this. I haven't this like crazy. Crazy. boost yet. Oh, you can fly upside down, by the way. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. you absolutely can. <laughs> you could be flying the whole time. It's oh, unlimited yeah. boosts. <laughs> I get pretty good last time we did drop shot oh. with unlimited boosts. Not hitting the ball, but like yeah. navigating the ceiling. Flying around? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's tricky. It's like, a, it's a whole thing. Sometimes it's hard to rock the ride. Oh, fuck. Oh, sorry. Hi, Mr. Alert. What are you doing in here? Oh, 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 oh fuck. No. no. Oh, damn it. Yes. Ah. Boops. <laughs> Bitches. <laughs> this <ball's> so <laughs> Yeah, I keep going for boost. I, I still haven't hit the ball yet, so... Good job. Oh, I touched it. The, I touched it once. Yay. <laughs> touch it! it. Touch it! <laughs> you got the touch! <laughs> you got the power! <laughs> Hello, <Yeah>. Foxy. <laughs> when all hell's breaking <laughs> loose! Yeah. Well, I hole? drove yes, under the puck. Come on, Scoots. <laughs> oh. Hi, Scott. Ooh, hi, Ben. <laughs> ah, I was trying to blow up Scott. Not really. No, you got me instead. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. There, there was no intent. It was what was in front of me at the time. <laughs> like that. Oh, hi, Ben. No idea. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. That was intentional. Um, <laughs> whoop. Yep, too far. <laughs> Hello again, Foxy. I'm just holding down boost and hoping for the best at this Row point. In. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and someone gets it in. Oh, God, it was right there. Ah, I'm <laughs> flying now. I hit the puck, and then I rebounded up. Oh, shit, no. Yes. No, that was my fault. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> I didn't get in the way of the puck. I, I was going to go for the puck, but somebody got there before I did. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, I lag just then. Good thing we're on Twitch, because uh, we wouldn't be on YouTube at this point. Oh, it's not. Oh, Benny Hill's not copyright. Yes, oh, it is. Benny. Yes, yeah. it is. It is. Yeah, it's actually one of the it's ones that will get you immediately nuked. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a TV show. Of course, it's copyrighted. That's it's a TV show work. that like <laughs> doesn't exist anymore. So yeah. Hey man, lifetime of the was, author plus seventy years. Oh Thanks, Disney. God. Yeah. <laughs> I it was yeah, that was all Disney. <laughs> yep. And now it's buying out everything, so shit. Disney will own yeah. all media. <laughs> Damn it. Hey, I came out of that one in one piece. Neat. All right. I am still just going around in circles. <laughs> oh, come on! I will drive other people into I it. I don't want to <laughs> walk around in circles. Walk, walk around Ben was around the only one who touched it of, like, five people that went by that puck. <laughs> These strats. I get taken out. <laughs> Gamer strats! <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think I think holding boost and hope, hoping for the best, is kind of the ghost strat here. <laughs> That's what I've been told this whole game. Damn it! <laughs> ah. Okay. I got one minute left. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, dude, I, I, I was I was like there at like the twenty second part. Oh. oh whoops. Oh, yes. Need oh, more did. scoops. <laughs> no, Rohit. <laughs> you could have let it go a bit further. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> there, okay. Damn it. Nine. Eight. Oh, my God. Oh. No. 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 False hope. False hope. <laughs> it does, it's not real. It doesn't exist. Go, Wendy. Come on. I love you. Yes. <laughs> 
Boost Lee! <laughs> 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 Boost Lee! <laughs> Uh, Boost Lee. Uh, Boost Lee. Well, we now did all the work then. It's almost almost as good as Bruce Leroy. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce, Bruce Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> oh man, that's my new traveler character. Shit. Oh, all right, Leroy thumbs Jenkins. up. Boost Lee. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. <laughs> All right, I gotta... Everyone can thank Jordan for that much. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? All right, we got we got it another way, right? We got that out of our system. Good. <laughs> Great. Now, now I can Jordan. make it now he's good. it the entire day. Right? Yeah. Now mm -hmm. with that with spikes. Done. Fly, flying. Uh, oh. Flying. Flying drop shot. Well, you see, you know, these modes do nothing but anger and irritate Alan and Scott. <laughs> Their powers are the useless. people who actually play the game. Right. You're like, this is bullshit. This is RNG. And like, quit having a good time. So serious. Super serious. I'm super serious. Man. <laughs> so serious. I'm super serious. Are you serious? <laughs> No, I'm so ill. Schnerious. Mm-hmm. My bad, Pete. I'm super serial. I'm so serial, you guys. And it turns out he was right. We should have been afraid of Man Bear Pig, and now Asia is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> You know, in the South Park game, I thought the men bear pig fight was going to be the hardest one, and then there was the Al Gore fight. It's like, yeah, oh, that, fuck. that one, yeah, yeah that, that, <laughs> that one that took one like a couple well, tries. Like... I had to like, I had to like, shit, I yeah. have to strategize now. Yeah, fucking Al Gore, man. Yeah, because men bear pig went down right quick. Al Gore, it took a while. That that was a good five minutes long just for that fight. <laughs> As a wise sage once said, y'all ready for this? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it. but it doesn't matter. Uh, Nothing matters. I like it. More. Next come denialism. Spitty bullshit. Oh, it's the you. <laughs> oh, no. oh, nice. oh, 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 with a low <laughs> it's a U cube. Oh, oh, oh. Large. Yeah. No, Large U cube. Whoa. All right. Man. The cube. Boo! Nothing the cube. Right. I love oh, U cube. Why, like on this live motion? <laughs> Gravity. why can't you be murder cube? Murder cube <laughs> is best cube. Oh, we gotta do. We gotta do that. Again. We got. Yeah, we gotta. Do, you know what? I think. I think we'll do besiege on Thursday. That'll be fun. R N cube. No! Don't poop me out of the. Oh. Yes. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Oh, oh come on! <laughs> Someone, me poop. Oh, no! Yes. <laughs> Damn it! I was getting myself in line for a punching glove, and then someone booted me. I was just as I got. Poop. Oh, someone booted empty into it. Okay. Scoops. Double booting. Mm. You guys go have fun with it. I'll just wait right here. <laughs> Boop! Oh. Well, no, that did nothing. It, it, it's a cube. It doesn't do that. <laughs> it, that accomplished nothing, but you know what? It felt good. I don't fucking know what's happening. Jordan! Ah! Oh, <laughs> that I had good. a boxing glove. I, it didn't. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I hate you, Pedro. I'm sabotaging your goalkeeping. That's exactly yeah, what Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Rawr. How's that feel? How's that feel, bitch? <laughs> I don't know. We're losing. How does that feel? Are you suffering? <laughs> Not really. 
Damn it. And I'm not happy. I don't give a shit one way. <laughs> you need, you need to suffer fucked. more, Pedro. <laughs> I have enough oh. uh, alcohol in my blood right now that I don't give a fuck. <laughs> suffer. <laughs> I need alcohol and I'm not gonna fuck. Okay. Aw, my boot too big. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> I'd like to land now, please. Thank you. Please. Yes! Oh, uh, let's see. So... Oh man, we, 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 got some cel we got some stellar scores on our side. It took oh, a minute, yeah, we did. minute and a half <laughs> before Alan got oh, it clicked in. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm goalie. <laughs> sure. Whoa, oh whoa, bad touch, bad touch. Oh, Fuck's oh. sake. <laughs> oh, I just saw okay, that. well, uh, that got you a double-digit score. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> ah, damn it, man. Hi. Someone push it in, push it in, push it in. No. Push it in the whole fucking no. Someone blew me up. I missed it. was it. Mr. Alert. Damn it. And then row hit. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> it's up in the sky. Go away, empty. It's a bird. It's a plane. Oh, it takes a bit out. It's a bullshit. It's the board. Ah, no, on. not that way, Jordan. <laughs> Yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Really good. And uh, Scott. There. I, I have been mostly be. blown up by... Yes. The opposite team, repeatedly. <laughs> I was doing cartwheels. I am cartwheels. <laughs> I'm a cartwheel man. Oh no. Oh shit. My power is, I do trouble. really People sick cartwheels. <laughs> there we go. Boop! No. No. I don't know. Gra gra gravity no, is I'll take, it. I'll take it. That's in the right direction. <laughs> there. No! God damn it! No! <laughs> 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 How'd I miss? No! No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! yeah. Ah. Oh, okay. Damn it. Uh, I, you fucking right. I didn't get a save for that, <laughs> but sure. <laughs> No, who did ah, that? I was going to valiantly <laughs> you miss the end it. Of the, world. <laughs> the end of all time. Oops. Kind of. Oh. Ow. Sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> I just got kicked into a wall. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling fine. <laughs> and I feel fine. <laughs> Shit, I've been kicked in the in wall, the and I know it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Come on, just get it across. Get it across. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> no. Come on. That way. No. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the gloves come out. Oh, dude. I almost just kicked my two people at once. On both sides. You didn't have to pay extra. <laughs> yeah. Fuck on. Quit bragging. Give me a boot on each cheek. All right. Oh, give me this one game. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no go for you. I saw the explosion uh, I couldn't fly fast I enough. Damn it. it. 30 seconds remaining. Let nope. Yes, we're going to miss on that one, buddy. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I'm just floating in the air. Gonna keep it tight. Come on, Pedro. Keep it tight. Keep it light, Brian. Mm. Get the booty. Keep Don't it tight. Don't let them let. score. Ow. Come on. Come on, no. To the no. floor. Who did yes. that? Fuck. Ah. <laughs> Fuck me. Ah. <laughs> 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 Well, I worst think, score. It wasn't. It wasn't a high score, but it was an important. Uh, spin that one. <laughs> Go ahead. High score. <laughs> yep. I touched the ball. It, it was a <laughs> score. <laughs> yes, I technically touched the ball. <laughs> it was gore. 
Maybe no, it was I have to go cut the heat off because I've cut the heat on. Because you've consumed another person. I don't know. <laughs> Put another one on the fire. <laughs> yeah, as long as the uh, that door is closed, it's it's good. This computer does a good job of heating up this place. <laughs> The, fucking hot there's no winning the because it'll get warm in here but I want to leave this room without going into like hypothermic shock, shock. Yeah. so when I cut <laughs> the heat on for the rest of the house then this room is just going to get like stupid fucking hot which it is doing Ugh. well I can't have my windows open so I'm bloody hot <laughs> top score ah uh, yes Australian summer it's a coming. Uh, yes. <laughs> and I'm covered in smoke and dust. So I can't have the windows open. Hey, man, I don't judge. You're trying to give California a run for its money? <laughs> oh, no, we, we can be on more fire than we, you guys we're can. We're taking the money and gone. <laughs> right. We're taking the money and going on a world tour. Scorched earth <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're way more fire than you are. Go, Australia. Yeah. <laughs> lost but you, you gotta be realistic about it like a quarter of Australia can be on fire and no one would notice they're like what yep. oh <laughs> alright I mean that that's how they we do it though that's the, that's the I'm just that's saying. the one that's the one secret that all the other land masses that are on fire hate <laughs> that's my superpower <laughs> that's the, population the density of around the edge this is our BuzzFeed article about how to win at being on fire. That was kind of the thing. Like Portugal Consider doesn't routinely combust, but Portugal was on fire last year. Oh yeah, no. Uh, Portugal, every now and then, there's like a big fire that takes several days to put out, and since the country is teeny tiny, it's fucking huge. <laughs> What's on fire? Yes. It's huge. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. You want a side of like Spain? We can do some of that too. You know, just for good measure. Yeah. It's like Spain's on fire. Eh, probably a reasonable assumption that Portugal is also on fire. <laughs> That's what I call churrasco. Mm. <laughs> like your pronunciation there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we gotta we we gotta close it out with a nice regular game of drop shot. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's like if the, the URL has a large hydrogen collider killed us yet. That's a big fat no. Large hadron collider? Interesting. <laughs> yeah, the hadron. The, hadron. the large David Hader collider? Yep. We just collide <gasps> solid snake into <laughs> solid snake. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that's snake what, at a million miles an hour. Trying to sneak pack past the guards, but he's dummy thick. And the clap of his ass key cheeks keeps alerting the guards. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like this is why no one reads your fanfic. <laughs> and that's 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 by design. I mean, I was just it's like for, it's it's for me. It's not for you. <laughs> yeah, but still, I didn't think you could do that to Family Circus, but here we are. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and again, if we were on YouTube, that would have taken us down. <laughs> Thank you, Twitch. <laughs> Let's go. Listen, there's nothing wrong with appreciating Salt Snake's butt. Was designed to be good. <laughs> Otaka con. <laughs> oh look, con. team winning. Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, give me tacos. You said regular. Okay. Nope. Regular okay calls. the yeah. uh, boost there. is different. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, two X. Okay. A yeah, just, just enough to fuck with him. <laughs> Hmm. Ah, oh, damn it, miss. <laughs> Need a popsicle. Dude, you were not alone in that equation, though. I mean, I... <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Ooh. 
God damn it! Yay! God damn it! Reduce the dust foot. Ah! Oh, it's super bouncy. <laughs> Uh, you're not playing, okay. So you don't feel the pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm guessing I just. Like... Where are you going with that gun in your hand? Track that you were... <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, Jill, the track you were humming to is in public domain. <laughs> <laughs> it was Poor little in rocket the car, a lot of rocket. Oops. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm ah. going somewhere. Where the fuck am I going? I don't know. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I keep getting the boot. I don't want the boot. I want the boxing glove. Sometimes you get the boot. Sometimes you get the horde. Then you're like, the fuck's going on with this cow, man? <laughs> <laughs> Try to milk it. Steer clear of that. <laughs> oh! Oh, please. oh, who hit us? My strat is to only hit people that are not on voice. <laughs> oh yes. Keep going. Uh, Do it harder, I, I I Go. set that one up pretty well. Yeah, pretty well. Well, pretty well. Funny, I can fly. Uh, that way. I'm just flying now. I have no control over my destiny. <laughs> no. I am still under the illusion. No. That, yes. <laughs> That I can out influence. The the bouncy bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't succumbed to reality <laughs> quite yet. Don't Boops. worry, it'll happen. Oh my god. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's so bouncy. <laughs> it keeps hitting nothing. It's stationary. <laughs> Quit getting wrecked. Damn it. Come on, no come one wants to. Yeah. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Finally. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Doink, 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 doink. If you can get it in ping pong mode. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you gotta get under it and fire the boxing glove, and then, yeah, you're good. Yeah. I'm hoping for the best. Alan with his victory flail. Pinball wizard. The doink, doink. <laughs> you doingus. <laughs> Dick! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're getting some connection problems, apparently. Yes, uh, we are. <laughs> I saw that too. <laughs> I am too. But that's normal for me. Don't oh. stare at me. Hi, Pedro. <laughs> Hi, Ben. <Finn. laughs> Alright. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I'm getting kicked. I'm getting chasing the bull. Flying and I'm trying to chase Paul. Oh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm just waiting for Come a moment. Ah, uh, that, uh, not that way, Scott. <laughs> I have no control over that, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Oops. Good moves. What? No, 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 no. I have no practical control over that. <laughs> Bad touch. No. no. Right there. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, at least there's no disabled goal reset. Uh, <laughs> the Portuguese fist. We wasted that one on that other one, on the hockey one. Ah, oh, just touch it a little bit. <laughs> I want to, you want to feel dirty? Oh. Yeah, just I got it. it. Just barely. Just want to feel a little bit. You know, there's a Tim uh, Curry uh, a bit more. dressed up as Dracula <laughs> singing "It's Always Halloween." Yeah, uh, that's from a movie called The Worst Witch. <laughs> yeah. I didn't okay, that was some trip. damage. Oh damn it! Uh -oh. I went in the wrong direction. It's smelling too much. Like <laughs> uh, uh, someone yes. booted me just before I touched it. Spooky. Come on. Like Scary. <laughs> Halloween. Uh. Hi. Someone. Hit yes. yes. Look at that. <laughs> no. <sighs> I got the boot. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just drop, boot. Come on. Pull it. Pull it. There we go. All right. Take it. Do all our work for us, Alan. That's what you're here for. That's right. You watch it. <laughs> Stare it down. There we go. Good job, Alan. 
Three seconds uh, to make us going over. I don't care. I'll take my participation trophy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the only thing that matters is victory. <laughs> I missed! I, I missed! Dude, fuck off. I've, like, missed poorly three times. Like, I've come too close. <laughs> it's just sad. Uh, come on, let me hit, let me hit, let me burp. Wow. Oh. No! 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 no. Yes. Yes. It, do, it doesn't matter. There's no hole for it to yeah. go into. <laughs> There's no hole. Yeah, There's a hole there! Oh! oh. 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 So close. Right. Oh. So close. <laughs> oh, Yay, that, 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 one, that, one. that was dangerous. I did, I did better than Scott. <laughs> that, jeez. <laughs> and that is how you play drop shot. Pros, come at us. We will defeat you so hard. <laughs> or, you know, that was not. hover ball, man. I mean, <laughs> oof. Oof. The extra bouncy ball. <laughs> All the bouncy ball. <laughs> well, we did it. We did it, Twitch Tube. Yay! Twitch Tube. <laughs> <Yay! laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! The excitement is powerful. <laughs> You wonderful, fun-loving delinquents. You misfits. You Linux-loving miscreants. Thanks for showing up. <laughs> Watching a nightmare trade. Participating. In only the way you can. Um, we gotta piece the hell out and do things because it is various versions of past midnight for all involved. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Except, Except for those in five hours and 21 minutes Except ago. The California. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> They're perpetual 8 p.m. So I want to thank everybody showed up. Uh, Pedro, do we have a list of people that like did the Twitch thing? Well, uh, we don't have a list, but I can tell you that X Salty gifted a bunch of people subs. So thank you very much, <laughs> X Salty. The, and there, there uh, we is also a list, got uh, <laughs> the um, latest follower, Liaro. Thank you very much. And keep, yeah, keep buying seriously, me time follow us. while I just go to the page <laughs> to find it with all the Twitch stuff then. Yeah. The, Follow the, us on <laughs> Twitch and um, you'll get a shout out. Not if we're recording, but uh, you will get a shout out. <laughs> uh, Don M and Basil 1XA. Uh, yes, yeah, Basil cheers. gave us a lot of bits. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Don't forget the burning fool who subscribed with this Twitch Prime so. twice. <laughs> Jordan, it's yes, so that was X salty, X salty <laughs> gifting everyone the uh, the subs. <laughs> and yes. our uh, latest Patreon, Ruben, uh, yes. which <laughs> is a thing. Beautiful people, and everybody showing up live in the after shows and in the audio on our Discord. Come say hi or die to fire. We got Mike. Foxy or Blender, Blending, Blend, Hi. Blend, Re something, Jill, Katana, <laughs> Mir, Mr. Lurk, Rohit, Scott Michelle, and one Hi. empty. Ooh. We'll see you next week. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. 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 Bye.